And now, The Bonfire with Big J. Okerson and Dan Soder. It's The Bonfire. Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. Hi, I'm Dan Soder. Solo. Yeah, by himself. Why is that? Well, because Big J's out in Vegas taping his Netflix special. Of course, if you are in Vegas, go see him tomorrow night. Uh, TBLUS.com slash Netflix Vegas. Promo code BONFIRE for priority seating. Go see him tomorrow night. But uh, as of right now... My guest host, nowhere to be found. Aww. No contact. I mean, uh, you know, here's a little breaking of the four wall. I'm here, I'm sitting here, Christine in uh, Vegas with Big J, obviously, uh, but at the homestead. The Lou's and Jacob, Black Lou, White Lou, and Jacob Batot, all here with us. Uh, guys, this is like, uh, this feels like we're having dinner for the first So much shark stuff that I've never seen Jacob more excited for a show to begin. So much. It's, it's going to be a shark heavy Monday on the bonfire. Ooh. <laughs> little tease, Gronk is ruining my life with the So sharks. you're pissed about it. Yeah, I, don't I mean, think. we could talk about this. Let's just talk about that. Gronk is going to be, is he's not hosting Shark Week, right? No, he's going to be a guest on Shark Week. So they bring in celebrities to be guests and do guest shark shit, right? Yeah, what was the last year that, what was that, uh, Michael Phelps okay. raced a shark? But that makes, <laughs> but he didn't actually. It was stupid. <laughs> yeah. How did they do it? I think they put him in like a lane, like a fenced lane or something. A shark in a fenced lane? You know, I got to be honest, I skipped that one. Wait, you skipped the, the shark race? How are you such a fan of sharks and you you miss a because shark? Because it demeans the shark. Oh, I don't my care God. about oh Michael my Phelps. God. I mean, what do I give a shit? Jacob, you're, t- <laughs> Jacob, you're too pro. What am I learning about you're too pr- shark? You're too pro shark rights. <laughs> <laughs> you're, too, you're like too into it. But I, 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 saw, I saw a little clip of uh, Gronk. Uh, and one uh, like a little snippet of the upcoming Shark Week, and he's if it made you I furious. Yeah, because the big famous cinema cinematographer is Andy Casagrande. He's like the rock and roll shark <laughs> cinematographer. <laughs> I love and I think he gets to spend the time with with Andy Casagrande. So you're more mad that he gets to hang out with this uh, this he's got like the best infamous. This, yeah, so this infamous shark cinematographer, and you're pissed because Gronk gets done dipping his dick in Camille, <laughs> and then he gets to go swim with sharks and pet it's him. Like, Do you think he's the when opposite he's done of you? with the shark, he gets to bang yeah, yeah. Like, you, you By the way, have a that's, life. that's his post-sex story with Camille, <laughs> is he goes, oh, uh, it was all right, I got to touch a shark today, and she was like, whatever. yay! It's whatever. And meanwhile, Jacob's just punching his office wall going, <laughs> I just want to be near a shark. Let alone Anthony Casablanca. <laughs> Anthony, An- I think Bobby's outside. They can't do this. Thank you, Bobby Kelly. Look who decided to show. Robert Kelly on the bonfire, everybody. That mic. I like to make an entrance. No, you don't. Uh, like, you like fucking nine minutes late. An entrance. Dude, if I did That's this French. on, if I did this on, you know what, dude? Which you, you can, can download at riotcast.com. If I did this on You Know What, dude, you would be shitting blood out of your eyes. Listen, let me tell you something. All I right. taught you well. <laughs> if I didn't teach you the way to be, this show wouldn't be the what it is. Oh, I knocked over. Ah, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> oh, no. You knocked over. What'd you knock over? Dude, I just knocked over a camera. <laughs> ah, ha. Uh, don't you? Well, let him look for it. That's why he's a producer. Yeah, Your dude, talent. Keep it's talking. his camera, though. He oh, brought it in wow. for like this thing. Oh, shit, and nice. then I fucking swat my big dumb hand. Hi, Bobby. Hi, buddy. I was just, I was talking about how you have a zip line in your backyard for Max's birthday yesterday. Dude, let me tell you something. My backyard. It's fucking great. Is everything my childhood wasn't. That's exactly what I said, where I said it's great watching your friends who I know for a fact had shitty dads yeah. re correct the mistake. Yeah, but here's the thing, too. I've been thinking about this. I. I I had a. I have to add in that that at that time with all the stuff that's going on now. Yeah. That time raising a kid. Yeah. Was shitty because you could hit them. You could tell them to shut up. Because you're saying, oh, so you you're could, saying that they just didn't know how to parent. Correctly. No, look at my step. My second stepdad was a douche. Yeah. Total douche. But look, you know, my mother put me, let my uncles put me on the back of a mini bike and forgot to tell me to hold on that's with hilarious. no helmet when I was in fucking kindergarten. <laughs> Okay, but that's also uh, after your birthday party. I yes. have other friends that have kids yes. um, that I used to wait tables with. Yeah, 
and they live up in Westchester. So I was like, hey, I got to go see your house. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, whoa. I cheated on you, dude. Wait a minute. I fucking cheated on you whoa. with other friends with kids, dude. In Westchester? Like, literally down the street from Oh, you. my, oh, my fucking God. And you know what I did? I went, finally, a real party. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I didn't do that. Did you fight? You <laughs> tell me you didn't go to a party after my party. No, no, no. I went, that is party faux pas. No, no, no. I went and saw my friends. <gasps> Uh, who have a kid and they bought a house up there recently. When? Why are you? When? They bought a house three months ago. They just moved what? in. Dude, do you understand you have to fucking let me know that? Why? What if I bumped in you bumped into you at the Sunoco? What if I saw you at the the Acme or then that's the a fun, Chico's? Then that's a fun like Bobby No, it's you're gonna dude, that's like catching your girl fucking somebody. <laughs> no, it's not. Oh my god! Because no. I have friends in friends in Westchester. If now. you didn't tell me You would really get upset if I bumped into you at the grocery store and I go, Bobby, this oh is my. Gary and Sarah. Oh my if you didn't tell me <laughs> Why are you getting that voice? What is that voice? You didn't tell you're me You're going you're going up. I don't like <laughs> this voice. I don't like this Bobby upset. I got cheated on. Voice. Uh, because, buddy, what? Listen, man. This is first of all. This is the first I'm hearing of this. Yeah, I thought which we were, is I thought outrageous. We were a, I thought we we're in an open friendship. <laughs> we're not in an open. What? The, oh, first of all, those never work. Yeah, they do. They don't they, work. Well, both people have to be into it, Bobby. What, do you think I'm a freak? <laughs> you think I'm a freak? I thought you were open minded. Does he? Wait a minute. First of all, yeah. I need to unpackage this. This yeah. is blowing my mind. Okay, you right know, down the street. From do here. you? Oh, <laughs> yeah, like like a seven minute drive. Uh, 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 are they married? Yeah. Tell me they're not in the business. No. Oh. No, it's outside. Oh. I wouldn't do that to you. I wouldn't embarrass you like oh, that. Oh, my God. No, there's people I used to wait tables So with. they're squares. Yeah, they're squares. They're, they're normal so people. So they're, they're fucking just regular people. Yeah. They're, there's no way they're more exciting as me. Oh, I mean, that barbecue was off. I mean, that was... So you went to their house and it was just a... Hey, Dan. 45 minutes. Come on in. I spent four hours You don't show house. up and it's like, oh, nice shirt, fucking puss whack. I went like this. Like oh fun. I, I did this. I put my uh, regular I'm not a comic voice on where you can't be as honest. Where really? you walk and you go, and this is the upstairs. This is awesome. Is this your yeah. guys' room? I love rounded doorways. Oh, that's why people get upset. <laughs> I hate rounded doorways, by the way. <laughs> yeah. If you have rounded doorways, go fuck your doorways. Uh, I don't even know what that means. That's, <laughs> that's a, a rounded Spanish. M- I, like I like that. I like real ones. The LA ones. The original ones, I don't like it in fucking Westchester, oh. where the only Spanish that are up there are mowing the lawns. No offense. What am I, Trump? Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. make America great well, again. Apparently, Listen, uh, that's all. Yeah. Well, I'm there, um, I live in a Spanish neighborhood. Before I start getting letters from the bond, I would I, love it. From what? Yahoo? Uh, yeah. Yahoo! <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> so I went to their house and it yeah. was more like a 45 minute, like, Hey, this is, uh, this is, this is, this is ridiculous to me. It's ridiculous. But I have friends in the same neighborhood. All, you understand everybody here is, is on my side. Like your There's show- no way. There's no way Lou Whitsky's on your side. He gets that I have other friends. It sounds like cheating to me, Dan. Thank Dan you. What the fuck does that Honey, mean? The reason why it's fucked up, Dan. It's not fucked up at all. I'll tell you why it's fucked up. You didn't tell me. You didn't tell me. You didn't say. I'm finding about it like on the air. It's like you're, you're trickling it out like you did something bad. But I didn't you never do anything said, bad. You never said to me, hey, dude, I got, you know, my buddy lives right down the street from you. I visit him all the time. I think I might have said it at the barbecue. No, no, no. I, I, don't say, I didn't say I visited it. Barbecue, I'm I'm fucking on tilt. I well, got sixty there go. people there. Then you can't I you can't be upset at me for you not listening while you're Buddy, if my wife was at a baby shower that she's running or a bachelorette party that she's running yeah. and I walked up, I go, Look, I think I got a hand job at a massage parlor and she'd be like, Okay, cool. T- I, I just pass me the water. And I don't you, you can't. where's the problem in that? I but, think we're finding solutions that's here. It's called deceit. Belongs in a, lot, a, lot of belongs in a fucking billions episode. <laughs> oh, that's how tricky which. that is. How good was last night's episode? Listen, let's get to that after we get to this fucking. Listen, I don't want to fight. Crazy, I don't want to fight this, while you're co-hosting. I don't. I'm not fighting with you, buddy. I want to. I want to get back to where we were. <laughs> I just want to get back to where I, where we were in that sweet pocket, dude. It's, dude, first off, they mean nothing to me, Bobby. That's they mean I, nothing to me. <laughs> okay. I was I was confused about their kid's name three times. What's Do you the, want the honest? What's truth? the name? Three, Theo. It's a good name. He's adorable. Theo. <laughs> Theo. <laughs> Theo. Their house, their backyard's not half as cool as yours. What kind, how big is the backyard? It's, not, it's tiny. Really? Yeah, tiny. They live on a hill. So it's Ugh. like this little plot. So you can't even like run around? Well, dude. If it's wet, if it's wet, you just. They're a young family. Do they have a, do they have a, do they have a swing set? Nope. Do they have a, a fire pit? Can I tell you this? Yeah. I went over to their house and immediately bragged about your zipline. Really? Yeah. Do they, go, they have, do they have a pirate ship? 
No, I didn't know you had a pirate ship. In the back on the stump. That was the playground thing? The pirate... No, the playground... Oh, the, from the zip line. Remember I built the pirate ship? Yeah. Oh, my God. You don't even look around my backyard. I looked, I looked around your backyard. You plenty. were thinking about leaving. I wasn't thinking about leaving. I spent a good You were thinking about here. going to I, Theo's. No, no. I was thinking about steak tips. I was thinking about... How good is steak tips? First, is that not a is that not a national thing? I'm bring this is my this is my plan. Okay. This is my goal in life. My goal in life is to do this. These are my goals for the next year. Sure. I want to film an hour special. Okay. I want to lose around uh, three hundred pounds. How big are you? I want to lose around uh, around eighty pounds. <laughs> I want to like, die. There's, there's no way that you're at fucking four hundred and six. If you're four sixty, you look like no, a great four sixty. No. <laughs> I'm like, God damn, you're a svelte four fifty five. <laughs> You may see Bobby walking around. He's big, but he just moves so quickly. I want and I want to bring Boston Dom's sausages and steak tips. Yeah, from Malden, Massachusetts, from a specific place to New York. You New just York got City. so Massachusetts in that explanation. You goddamn right, you yeah, cocksuckers. Like, Fuck it, I want to get it's the fucking it's better than the head of Teddy Williams. It's fucking <laughs> steak tips from right outside Dorchester. Dude, if you had who really murdered Kennedy, I wouldn't fucking care if you gave me a fucking steak tip or a garlic and cheese sausage. Let me give the listeners a background of your steak tips, which I've had multiple times, yeah. uh, and it does sound like gay sex when you call it steak tips, but at your barbecue. Last two years ago, I ate about five or six steak tips mm-hmm. very fast. Mm-hmm. And then Bobby does this ace move for his kid's birthday party where he hires Ben and Jerry's mm-hmm. to come to the barbecue. Yeah. So they make Sundays at the barbecue and it's like out of a fucking ice cream. I cater it. There's a guy standing there making what? it's whatever you want as much as you want. It's so great on paper. You put your toppings. It, yeah, and it's great. It's pretty there's great. Nobody, there's no guy going, skibba, 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 scuba, 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 tinga, tinga, tinga. <laughs> you go up, you go, I want that, 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 and then I'm going to go over and I'm going to put my toppings on. And Whatever then, you want. Yeah, and you can put your own whipped cream, caramel sauce, it's all there. Two years ago, I ate a lot of steak tips, got very excited for ice cream, mm-hmm. had a bunch of ice cream, then had to take a raging shit in Bobby's guest bathroom, which doesn't have a lock on it, so you just kind of have to hold a sliding door. Wait, wait, Do you know what it's wait. like holding a sliding door shut, trying to shit? It's And also, a comedian, I got the fucking 2005 cellar lineup waiting to piss. <laughs> I got Keith and Gary Goldman and Colin Quinn Listen. waiting to piss, and I'm just peeing out of my butt because I ate six... Cause I ate six well, very well cooked yes. and very well seasoned yeah. steak tips and then just shoved Ben and Jerry's. So yesterday at the barbecue, I did almost the same thing. Yes. And then I was like, I remember this. I remember how this goes. I'm going to go to Theo's and shit because mm-hmm. they have a door. Yeah. They, and it's a nice, well-rounded <laughs> Spanish door. First of all, we have we went for design rather than function. <laughs> well, you have a sliding door. No, it's called a barn door, first of I all. I don't like right? it. Fucking I, a, a Queen's well, it's, apartment. Well, it's uh, you know what a Queen's apartment door has? A yeah. lock so I can poop in peace. Yeah, because you have fucking a savage Mike V waiting to take a protein shake every eight minutes. No, he, he, comes, <laughs> he cuts his own hair in his bathroom like a vigilante. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He comes in, he's just... Just in, he's just in his American towel cutting his hair, and I'm like, are you going to the streets to solve justice? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he cuts it so his hoodie, Dude, no hair shows under his hoodie, so they can't describe him. I swear to God, he's in China right now, yeah. and he was wearing a shirt where I was like, dude, you know they're not going to let you into China, because you look like you, and then you're going to be like, I'm a comedian. <laughs> and you're like, yeah, what would a CIA agent say? Right now he's fighting... Ten Chinese guys with nunchucks. Oh, dude, that'd be great if it turned <laughs> in out a that, fish market. Oh, dude, if if it turned out that Vecchione really was like a Liam Neeson. <laughs> oh God, that'd be the best. I'd love him even more than I do love him. Well, listen, here I want to go back to something How about your sliding door that you well, can't poop. First from? of all, we have that. You, you went to the piss bathroom. All right, I'm not going to poop in your bedroom. Hang bathroom. on one second. First of all, you poop. We have the bidet in the bedroom, and we have a door. You got to take a shit. You go in the bedroom. You shut the door. Here's then my- there's a there's a double door. Not not only is there two there's a there's a barn door you shut with a lock. By the way, okay. on that one, that'd be nice out in the regular. And there's bed- a double bedroom. there's a regular door. So you shut the regular door. Now nobody's going into my bedroom. Yeah, like you think I'm not going in your bedroom. Exactly. So that's where you go and shit. I'm not going to be there until ten o'clock. I'm not going to smell your ass. And I have a bidet. So you clean your asshole with water, and then you then you clean it with the air. Can I try it with the air? Can I tell you my perspective? Yes. As someone that has shit his pants at your old apartment, 
Whoa. And what the, the fuck? I've told you the story several times. It was I on told my you special. banged a MILF in my shower. That was pretty awesome. I also pooped my pants, and I did the joke on my hour special. So, And I know you know that. It was when I was watching your dogs. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. And I ate, I was on, I was on, um, I told the story, right? Yeah. I was on medication. I drank at the cellar, I ate buffalo wings, and then I stepped down your spiral <laughs> staircase, and shit just exploded into the back of my ass. In fact, the underwear I'm wearing is like Hanes boxer briefs, which are the exact same ones that I wore and just fucking shit all over at your house. <laughs> and the thing that I always remember about that more than anything, more than being embarrassed about pooping in your house, is how um, <laughs> poopy your butt cheeks get when you poop your pants because oh, yeah. it mashes against your butt cheeks. Yeah. So after I was done pooping, I had to get in your shower with a shirt on. I Donald Ducked it and just put my butt <laughs> under the you shower. Sh- you fucked in my shower and shit in my shower? I didn't shit in your shower. Wash the poop off That's my butt That's shitting cheeks. in my shower. Where am I supposed to wash? Outside? Like a, like a homeless person? I mean, that's a good point. But listen, yeah, yeah. Dude, another I- thing you should tell me. What if what if a shit nugget <laughs> got stuck in the drain? I didn't realize how then, adorable you say nugget. What if a shit nugget got stuck nugget. in the <laughs> stuck in the drain? And I come home, a don comes home, steps in the shit nugget, and then she goes, <laughs> "Did you shit?" And I go, "No." She goes, and then she thinks I'm lying. But it wasn't. You, you put gotta, a dent in my marriage. No, no, no. Because all the hefty shit, anything with weight on it, was in the bottom of the boxer briefs what that did you I do took with the off. Boxer briefs. I, you know your trash can next to the oh bathroom. Oh my! I'm a co-op. <laughs> I could have been kicked out. No, 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 no. I could have been kicked no, out. This the, no. isn't a fucking condo. No. Do you know how hard no. it is to get in a fucking co-op board? The, I had to no. bring my dogs for an no. interview. No, I'm talking about the trash can next to the toilet in your bathroom. I took <gasps> my underwear off and I put them in the bag in there. In my fucking bathroom. Yeah, but then I took the bag out. And, and then put I actually, it where? And then I used that bag with my poop in it for your dog's poop. And then I put it all in a trash can on your street. Um, I, and one of the all, lids. First of all, I don't have. First of all, you, I don't have a trash can on my street. Yeah, you did. You had plastic recycle the, the three recycle things next to your fucking building. Yes, that, you those did. are all mine. I know. Well, guess whose poop ended up in there? Mine. <laughs> all right, all right. I put my right. poop in there, and that's okay. what happened. <laughs> all right, but, uh, yeah. Uh, I'd have to. Fi- I wish I. Oh, I wish I had a time machine. Why? Because I go back to you just shitting in my shower, and you let me smoke cigarettes in your house. We used to smoke in my house. I know, and your ki- kitchen was getting worked on, and I got I, to smoke in there. I remember we used to. We used to when we did YKWd. We used to just smoke. Cigarettes yeah, at my kitchen table. Oh man, that was great. Oh, when we first the good started, old days. When we used to, first started this show, we used to vape in here all the time. Oh yeah. And then they were like, "Why don't you not do that?" Well, vaping is weird because they don't know what's in it yet. That's what I. It scares the shit out of me. <laughs> yeah, dude. Vaping's weird because it's like, oh, here's a liquid that turns into a cigarette smoke, and it, you know, and then it's like, well, what's in it? Well, a bunch of stuff. A bunch of stuff. I have a friend <laughs> that's a marijuana lawyer, and he's the smartest person I know, yeah. like a legitimately the smartest person I know. And I was asking him, I'm like, do you do the wax? This because some people get high when they light the wax, and it, it's supposed to give you, you know, the uh-huh. weed wax gets you higher than. And he was like, oh, I don't. I don't do that. And I was like, why don't you do that? He's like, we don't know what that is. Yeah. He's like, we don't know what the chemical transformation of yep. that is. And then he told me with the vaping, some of the vapes get pulled, the weed vapes get pulled with butane. Yeah. So there's like butane remnants in there. Oh, yeah. You're you're inhaling f- awfulness. What do you think is going to be more damaging over time? Do you think cell phones or vaping? Like in like 20, 30 years when they come back with all uh, the information. <laughs> I mean, I think vaping will probably be more immediate. I think cell phones, you know, we got to wait around, you know, maybe maybe 50 more years until babies start coming oh, out with dude. just cell phone head. Or no eyelids. <laughs> yeah. Just, yeah, like, yeah just what always, happened? They, they can go, always look at their phone. Yeah, they go, I don't, know, I don't know what happened. My baby was born without eyelids. AT&T in a class action lawsuit. <laughs> oh, dude, it'll be crazy. I want to say 20. I'm going to put a date on this. Yeah. So if the aliens find this in the in the time capsule of humanity, I want to say 2037 yeah. is when we really figure out. Well, there's something going on because now we have Bluetooth. Every, we have Wi-Fi. Bluetooth, yeah. cell phones, and you radio. love that shit, dude. Yeah, dude, I'll fucking go out if you if I can make a call and watch fucking a YouTube video on how to make a deck. <laughs> yeah, you'll a, die on a bus. I'll that's, fucking take. It. I'll, I'll I'll leave ten years early. I kind of respect that's the hill you'll yeah. die on. Yeah, fuck that. You know, I want convenience while being convenient, dude. <laughs> you know what? I, but I was telling my wife this today. I go, look, I I always felt bad about. I used to look at my grandfather and all the books he had and all yeah. the stuff he had. And, he would sit in this chair under a lamp and, and just read and be so well read. And I'm like, oh, I'm a fucking moron. But I'm like, no, YouTube is our is our new books. Whoa, we don't we don't whoa, read. Let's not fucking hang on. Let me finish the thought. All right. Before you attack it. Okay. We don't we don't have to read anymore. They, look it. If when I wanted to build 
a zip line or why I wanted to build a, a, a raised garden. I just went on YouTube and a guy, like, I watched 19 videos on what nails to get, on how to do this and how to frame this in, how to make a 45 degree cut, what plywood to use, what tools I had to get. And then I watched, don't do this. And this guy made this mistake. And all of a sudden I had all this information. Now, if my grandfather wanted to learn how to make a raised garden, he would have to go read a book. Yeah. He would have to read maybe two books and then go talk to the gardener, go to the fucking, and then blah, blah, blah. I watched around 10 videos. How long were the videos each? Probably around 10 minutes each. So you probably spent maybe an hour and a half watching. Hour and a half. I watch these videos. I have all the, and I have, and I have all the knowledge I need. Now, you have I, a terrible garden in your backyard. You're out of your mind. I have a beautiful okay, garden. Okay. You know that. Yeah, it looks great. I just it's an amazing, it. but, but it's. I just want to take a shot at your garden to see really which way just, you are. Yeah, want. but that's just a random, <laughs> unnecessary. That hurt. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, I, I'm a little that's upset. Like, I can't have friends in Westchester. I'm friends a, I can't have friends in Westchester. Yeah, but dude, that was a ball tap when we were going to the theater. <laughs> You know what I mean? We were going to see Wicked, and you just yeah. hit me in the nuts on the way. And like, goddamn, Ugh. goddamn right, yeah, it. Those I mean, vines look weak. Yeah, it's not like we're playing. We were at a barbecue fucking around. You hit me in the nuts. That's well, fun. I don't know. Maybe don't get so sensitive about gardening. <laughs> you <Yeah>. queer. <laughs> well, I really am mad at you. Uh, why? Because we'll solve this Save when we get back. It. We'll talk sharks when we get back. Jacob still has a boner over the fact that Gronkowski gets to go diving with sharks and he doesn't oh, I can't wait till he gets fucking a nice leg taken off oh and well. I love Gronk well we got another story about a fucking guy that got something else taken off we'll be right back Ooh. Bobby Kelly sitting in for Big J who's in Vegas Big J again taping his Netflix half hour tomorrow if you're in Vegas go to uh, theblacklist.com also tblus.com slash Netflix Vegas and use the promo code bonfire priority seating we'll be right back it's the bonfire cause that creep And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Yeah, Royal Blood all day on the bonfire. Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. I'm Dan Soder. Guest hosting with me, the Robert Kelly from You Know What Do Podcast at Riotcast.com. Big J in Vegas taping his Netflix half hour. He'll be back in two weeks. Because we have a vacation week. Ooh. Bobby, you picked Royal Blood because you like him. Fuck it. I can't believe that it's two people making this much noise. Yeah, and they make a lot of fucking noise. Good noise. When I saw him open I saw him for I saw him open for Queens of the Stone Age at Madison Square Garden. And by the end of Queens of the Stone Age's set, they were playing like a jam song yeah. and two guys were crowd surfing but towards the stage and it was fucking Royal Blood. Fuck you. And Josh Homme was like, "Let him up." Let him up and security let Royal Blood onto the stage, and then they all fucking and then they went and got guitars and jammed out on the. Uh, it was fucking awesome. That's ridiculous. It was, it was unbelievable. Oh, speaking of my missing other part, live from Las Vegas, probably standing in some very hot sun or some shadow and some sun. <laughs> Big Jay Okerson on the phone from Las Vegas. Hi, buddy. Hey, hey buddy. Hey, Bobby. Hey, buddy. How are you? I'm doing well. Is it weird being in that studio with your shirt on, with these man hands not all over you? It's uh, it's actually it was a little it was a little sad when I sat here and you weren't here. The comfort that I felt last time I was in the studio with your your hands on me. It was like he walked into a strip club and it got turned into a McDonald's. (laughs) Yeah, and he was like, "Ah." Well, actually, actually, I'd be just as happy. (laughs) (laughs) Maybe if it was the same thing. If I walked into it, it was a juice place. Yeah, you go, oh, (laughs) kale, kale only. I was getting my butt sucked six months ago. Oh, I love that he reached in on my inner thigh. Yeah, dude, you got your leg going. Oh, I felt his fingernail got hotter. Jay, are you holding a, a, a plastic guitar filled with beer and a straw coming out the top? <laughs> yeah, I got. Yeah, it's a big, uh, a big old long barbell too, full of kind of liquor. <laughs> yeah. um, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you who should be. Who we should uh, fund just to move out here, and that would be uh, a one Jacob the Tot. It is a nice crisp 105 outside. Uh, Jacob's Jacob's nodding his head like a proud parent, like he's somehow responsible for the heat. It's the dry heat, though. I hate that. (laughs) As someone that lived out, fuck fuck you, Jacob. As someone that lived in Arizona for five years, that dry heat ain't a dry heat when it gets up to 105, 110. I'll tell you what's not dry, your butthole. (laughs) Right? Hey, adding the funny while Jay's gone. By the way, can I tell you something right now? Humidity butthole, a thousand times worse than, because all you get is scalp sweating, and you get a lot of armpit sweating in the dry heat. You don't get butt sweat like you do on the East Coast. 
You don't get butt sweat. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, in the East Coast in the wintertime, you got to go in. I go to a lot of bathrooms uh, at comedy clubs and take a courtesy ass crack swipe. Yeah. yeah. I used to do, uh, when I worked at the restaurant, I used to do cornstarch in my butt crack. Oh, I can't do that. Because it would just, it, well, well, I was I, chafing. I was muffins like, would fall out of my legs. Maybe Dan just has a smaller butt than, uh, than I've had my whole life. Yeah, me. I, have a corn star, I figured there would be like, it would like cake in there, like yeah. some kind of like, like caulk almost. Yeah, yeah. Me, me and Jay have Dutch ovens yeah. for butts. You guys can, there's a, I read the side of the cornstarch and there was a weight maximum for using it on your butt. They said no one over 215. <laughs> If you put cornstarch on my butt, it's going to be turned to an Annie Ann's pretzel. <laughs> yeah. You got guys, bad news. It was hot and sweaty. Good news is there's some delicious baked goods in my butt right now. I just shit out a baguette, guys. <laughs> uh, what's even better is after I'd put the cornstarch in my butt crack, I would do the LeBron James. <laughs> I did it every fucking morning. I always did it. I mean, obviously, it's originally to Kevin Garnett, but, you know, LeBron. <laughs> what a great dad you're going to be. Oh, man, yeah. <laughs> Not I mean, that you do that in front of you. Son. Oh, I absolutely would. Well, uh, the, the second part, not the yeah, first part. Uh, or, uh, yeah. Son? <laughs> yeah. Uh, the state's going to take you away because I showed you how to put cornstarch on your little tiny butthole. <laughs> um, Jay, have you, have you, you went to Cellar Vegas, right? How is it? Um, oh, the Comedy Cellar Las Vegas. Beautiful. Yeah, great, great, great club. But uh, it really did. It's pretty amazing. They made it look exactly like the Village Underground in New York City. Uh, the crowds are pretty cool. I stopped by on uh, Thursday night. It was great. Besides that, Vegas certainly is not my town. No, no, no. Vegas is a very specific go get drunk and lose money town. It's great people watching. Christine said that, and she couldn't be more right. I mean, like, uh, I'll tell you what, I was very insecure because the only other time I went to Vegas, or one of the other two times I went, was I went to the Palms. And they wanted us to go out to the pool with the palms, and it was like a porn star pool party. Yeah. I mean, it was legitimately a porn star's pool party, and it was like, so everyone was just the guys were all like jack dudes, and the girls were all, you know, like gorgeous. And then, uh, and I was like, oh, yeah, I don't want to go to the pool at all. I haven't gone to the pool yet still. However, this town is actually much more, it's like a giant. Uh, it's like if, if the Juggalos got their own, <laughs> got their own city. It's like. Oh, wait, are you saying that? Are you saying people. Vegas has turned more Walmarty since your fucking Palms pool? It's a port- little wall. I don't even know if it's changed so much, but I mean, I guess it probably has changed from like the old Sinatra Vegas times. But I mean, it's uh, it's definitely like a lot of fat people showing side tip, yeah. male and female. They a make lot them, of side tip. They make their money off the rooms now. Yeah, like they, you can't get a free room anymore. Yeah, that's all. all that's people, all it used to they be. They don't fucking gamble. They go out there for a vacation, to sit at the pool, yeah, get to a drink. Crisp, Krispy Kreme twenty four hours a day. Excalibur, FYI, Jay. <laughs> there is a lot of <laughs> nothing th- like getting the donut off a conveyor belt. There's a lot of um, fat knee white uh, white sock running shoe combo. Yeah, <laughs> I'll tell you what. No, I haven't eaten any shitty food out here at all because I'm still filming. When you lie, your phone tells us. <laughs> yeah, dude. That, dude, I swear to God, you go, I haven't anything. <laughs> Jay, Jay, your phone has a fat detector on it. <laughs> <laughs> Jay goes, I never even once had room service or it all last night. I ordered it at one o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Guys, I, I don't. Vegan <laughs> organic. <laughs> <laughs> I only had a smooth. Yeah, it's only been fruit, natural sugars. <laughs> I had a cup only of tea. Only complex carbohydrates. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Jay's at the fucking, at the Krispy Kreme in the Excalibur right now. He's like, man, yeah, that's a bummer. Yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, let me put you on hold for a second. I saw the sign outside that they were hot off the oven. <laughs> yeah. You go, hey, I'll bite your fucking cheek unless I get one of those. So let's do this. No, but I'm telling you, when I come home Wednesday after this thing is done being filmed, I'm going to put on a display. I mean, I'm just going to just face fuck uh, God knows what. Oh, pizza. dude. Maybe uh, it's cheese stick. I might just come over to watch you feed. Uh-huh. <laughs> you should. 
Yeah, I'll do a lot of those things where I have it all laid out in front of me. I do as I'm thinking. I'll like uh, be making my my <laughs> my middle and forefinger touch my thumb back and forth a lot. Oh, dude, I would love just, if you. I love if you. Fat, fat decision hands. Of what am I going to pick up? With my <laughs> I'd like if you paste. I'd like if you paste around too in a robe, <laughs> and you go, mm, perfect. It's time for this salted meat." <laughs> I have a fucking easel like Dimitri Martin trying to pick plays. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, my favorite Jay. Yesterday, you missed uh, you missed Bobby's son's birthday party, but Bobby put one hell of a barbecue on. Yeah. My favorite part of the barbecue is Paul Verzi had to get an endoscopy and a colonoscopy. Upper, uh, yeah, upper and lower. Upper and lower. So he got he got a devil's threesome in the hospital, and uh, he couldn't eat, so he just kept coming up to me and going. You think I can move the procedure? <laughs> and you're like, dude, but that's how bad you want to eat. He's like, these steak tips. Dude, he took a bite of a he took a bite of a sausage, chewed it, and then spit it out. I mean, that is hilarious. <laughs> that what a miserable what a, way to live. Yeah, what's he got? What's he got? Weigh-ins or something? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, He's dropping away for a high school weird. wrestling meet. So they're gonna. That means they're gonna go down the throat and the uh, butt. Yes. Yeah, I told him his procedure should be sponsored by Brazzers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> it's like he really is gonna be spit roast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do that without being on your hands and knees. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to ask how it starts. Is it him getting his friend out of a situation? <laughs> <laughs> he, goes, he goes. I don't know. Doc, how does this procedure work? And they go. Have you ever heard the term duck water tight? <laughs> <laughs> he goes. He goes, Paul, you look like you enjoy it so much, I might have to bring in another doctor. And he goes, oh, that sounds dangerous. Her name is Michael. Yeah. I mean, Michelle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You want me to bring in another doctor? He's an Asian. It's like, I mean, I could try, I guess. I guess. Oh, I love that you gave wait, him wait, Jacob wait, wait, voice. Wait, 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 we can, uh... Oh, dude, uh... Why is she putting that in my butt? <laughs> uh, Jay, you're going to miss some heavy... Sh you're going to miss some heavy shark talk today. Uh, and Jacob's all fucking fired up because Gronk's going to be on Shark Week. No shit. Yeah, and I told him, I go, Jacob, how bad does it suck to know that he's going to fucking clean off after banging Camille and then go <laughs> jump in the fucking ocean with sharks? <laughs> he's just living everything. He's just Jacob's life. Yeah. Uh, Gronk also gets a piece of the Titanic. They're going <laughs> to they're gonna bring up a piece of the Titanic. And he's getting baking lessons. <laughs> They he's like, yo, bro, they gave me the heart of the ocean. I guess I'll wear it or whatever. Give it to some bitch. I guess I'll spike it after I score a touchdown. <laughs> Fuck all you losers. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. I don't wear suspenders and puffy shirts. I'm not gay, bro. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, Jake, he, go back to your healthy diet. Wink. Everything you're eating is perfect. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. If you let me go, I'm going to go downstairs and get a protein. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, we'll talk to you tomorrow. Call in. Are you taping during the show or can you call in? That's earlier there, right? Yeah. No, I could definitely call in. Yeah. You say it right? I'm dumb. <laughs> no, you're not dumb. Thank you. You made a mistake, and you called yourself out, which you should. See? This is a much more positive bonfire, Jay. <laughs> and without you here, I get stepdad Bobby, who's encouraging. Hey, Jay, he's a fucking moron. <laughs> yeah, and then I hear him talking on the phone. And then I hear, I hear him talking on the phone with my real dad, yeah. and he goes, your kid is dense. Let me tell you something. This kid's fucking dense. He asked me if it's earlier in <laughs> Vegas. <laughs> uh, fucking grew up in Denver. Uh, Bobby, I'm sorry. I wasn't, there for, uh, I wasn't there for Max's birthday, brother. Congratulations. We're gonna have another party, wow. uh, and and we'll, it's gonna be no kids, just uh, comics, and you're invited. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be headliners oh, and above. If you headline on Thursday and Sunday, you can't come. Nice. I'm a Friday <laughs> Saturday guy. Yeah, no split feature weekend. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You can't. Yeah, you either you call yourself a legit feature. Yeah. Oh, you're a fucking headliner. No, I headline on Thursdays, early show Saturday. You can't come. Lewis can't come as a comic. He has to come as an entrepreneur. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love you, Bobby. Thank you so much for being there. Hey, Dan, congratulations. I love, I love you, buddy. I miss you, Thank and you, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. We'll talk to you tomorrow, guys. All, All right. right. Again, Big Jay Okerson taping his Netflix half hour in Vegas. So if you're in the area or close, let's say you live in Phoenix, just fucking drive up. Go to tblus.com slash Netflix Vegas and use the promo code Bonfire to get priority seating to watch Jay tape his Netflix half hour. Yeah, sit up front. The go. Degenerates. Please go. Sit up front. There's nothing you do nothing worse than when you tape a, a half hour, an hour. And yeah. There's people that just got tickets. Oh, man. I'll tell you what was worse is um, when I did my Netflix half hour, the first crowd was unbelievable. Right. Unbelievable. Right. And they didn't like the set because I made fun of the venue. 
Really? I mocked the venue. I came out and I was like, this looks like a Dick Tracy set. And I just like made fun of it. And they're like, right. next show, let's not do it. The next show, uh, I was taping with Nate Bargatze and Fortune Feimster. And it, the second show was mostly her fans. Oh, boy. And I went last. Boy. Yeah. It was one of those ones where you're up there for a good fucking seven minutes. I'm like, you guys do not like me. <laughs> and if you watch, if you watch it, I win them over, but it sucks because that's the show they used on Netflix. So uh, you're kind of like, oh, I, I don't know. I went on after that because I mean, it got to the point I was waiting in the kitchen to go up <laughs> and they got to the point that Fortune Feimster was getting applause breaks where I, I thought she was wrapping up. So I kept doing the, here we go. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what is like, this a fucking applause break thing that's happening? Oh, uh, clap. What is, what is this fucking applause? Michelle and I call it, Wolf and I call it clapter. I, I don't know what the fuck is going. I tell people, please don't. I don't. I only accept laughs. Yeah. I do not accept. Please don't let me know that you just approve. <laughs> you cunt. Can don't you, stop letting me know that you approved. Yes. Of the joke. Good thought. The guy behind you in the studio behind you. Yeah. I, I call him Dave. Me, Jay, and I call him Dave Hussein, and yeah. we say that he's Iraq's number one afternoon drive DJ. <laughs> look, just look behind. I'm gonna me. slowly look. You're listening to the number one station in Iraq, <laughs> Dave Hussein. Welcome back to Iraq Radio. Remember, ISIS is dead. It's okay to come out of your house. And now, here's the Pixies. <laughs> Today we have Iron Sheik, we'll guess. Iron Sheik, call in. Talk about how Iran stink just like Iraq. And now, here's Soundgarden with Black Hole Sun. And we have, we have a coupon for Lamb Alley in yeah, Morocco. There's, <laughs> there's no way I can't look at him and not think that. Yeah. So he's behind you. That's why I was letting you know if I got distracted. Dave Hussein. That's all right. Spinning the ones and twos in Baghdad Radio. <laughs> the ones and twos. He's on the ones. I'm on the ones and the ones because uh, Saddam took the twos for his palace, for his son. <laughs> I took a shit on Saddam's uh, sa- uh, toilet. Toilet. Really? Gold toilet. I have a photo of me on his gold toilet. USO tour, or you just were over there? I just fighting? Went over there fighting. I'm, I'm black ops. Yeah. Fucking bl- my my group was called Black Saddle Down. Yeah, Nat, Nate said that Nate used to have a joke. Yeah, because Nate, you know, fucking he loves doing the USO tours. He, he used to do them all the time, yeah. and he had a great joke where he's like going over there for comedy. He's like, no, I'm fighting. Yeah, I'm fighting. Yeah, he I'm, got to. He took, I think he went to Saddam's palace too. Yeah, I, I block bullets for the troops. <laughs> human shield. Yeah, I just I, yeah, I just block them. Operation Human Shield. Um, um, so something you might not know about Jacob, I know you know Jacob from being on the show before. I know him from being on the show. I know him from S- Sirius Satellite Radio. Mm-hmm. He's a fine gentleman. Fine gentleman. Do you know he's a massive shark fan? I do not know that because he's very low key. Yeah, he yeah, does yeah. not seem like a uh, an adventurer or somebody that would like uh, anxiety ridden things such as a shark. So it's taken That's us years to get. Yeah, that is. It. Well, I didn't know. Wait, really? Why well, I wanted to. I've always I had nightmares of sharks. So you when I was a kid. So, so what, you, I, you went Batman. You went Batman Begins on yeah, it, and you exactly. embraced your fear. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did you take a fucking a hallucinogenic in the Asian Alps, and then fucking, <laughs> and then you're like, I must go into the shark, make my enemies as afraid of sharks as I am. I'm Shark Man. <laughs> da-na. That's what he says when he thinks he's gonna get mugged. He walks up. Da-na, 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 da-na. So you had like legit nightmares about sharks yeah what was your what was your because when people have nightmares <laughs> i have nightmares in my 30s <laughs> I, oh boy let's I have, get to that i have nightmares of wave giant waves that's my nightmare is being on top of a sky rise and then a wave coming real mine is falling down an elevator shaft it, that's terrible that's yeah. fucking terrible but it feels so cool for a little and i enjoy it for a little bit i never tell anybody that how <laughs> you told that oh my god i told alan and he goes yeah of course you're afraid yeah yeah alan said you're anxi- you're anxious stop it's all, it it's all gonna come tumbling down it, on you it's your mother yeah you're on top of the world but it's all gonna fall she wasn't there yeah your father Millet. no uh, what? <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> yeah. your dad kidding. sucked your dick no, what no, oh my god um what so- is your what is your it happens over and over again. What is it? Is it being attacked, bitten by a certain I shark? Why I just fall into water. Oh, that's and terrifying. It's at night. It's at night too. Oh, that's, the <laughs> that's fucking terrifying. Oh really? So you fall yeah. into dark water in your dream? Yeah. Perfect. Swimming in the ocean really at night. Best. Swimming in the ocean at night. It's very erotic. No, it's not erotic. <laughs> it's fucking. <laughs> You know why it's terrifying? Because when you look that way, there's the land. Yeah. When you look that way, it's ocean forever. But if, so what if you're with a what if there. you're with a lover? Yeah, what lover? What if you're with a lover? A, a lover you, like a man lover? And you're in the moonbeam. Moon maybe. Oh. I don't know. 
Well, if uh, you're with a man lover, it's fine. Yeah, because you know he'll hold you. Yeah, if me and Joe Liss were out there. <laughs> Joe Liss is holding you <laughs> from could, under. He could go down and talk to the fish with his mouth. He go. <laughs> you're saying, well, I mean, Joe, we'll ask him tomorrow if he has aqua- Aquaman abilities. <laughs> are you mad at me? <laughs> That's what he asked the fish. He just goes, are you mad at me? He really does look like Mr. Lippet. Are you mad, are you mad I at me? Wish, I wish I could be a fish. <laughs> I just wish I could. So when you fall in the water, do they ever bump you? Because that's what would scare me. They bump me, and then I always wake up <clears throat> as I'm bit. So you feel the bite? Yeah, and then I wake up in t- <laughs> terror and sweating. Yeah. Oh, oh, God. I have a fear My of getting dad- bumped. By Jeff Ross. Yeah, he goes, he goes I'm going to run it. I get a bu- I, I have a fear of getting bumped by Aziz every time I'm at oh, the cellar, and it happens. My biggest fear. Oh, he basically lodges two fingers down my throat and then goes on stage. He gives you the claw. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> the only thing I said about... Go, what's sorry. that? No, you were saying about the parents what? Uh, my dad... I, went, I was taken to see Jaws when it came out. How I mean, old were you? Five. He took me to see Jaws 2, for sure. So when I was five? terrified because Jaws... Yeah, I must have just... Your dad took you to a shark movie when you were. Would you well, take you know, he took me to see Jaws two yeah. when I had just turned seven, and the whole movie is kids getting eaten. You would take Max so, to a shark movie. Well, I would because Max not a pussy. Whoa! <laughs> I mean, I, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> he goes. Jacob, I watched it. Yeah. He goes. <laughs> Jacob, you cover your eyes, I'm gonna blast you in your ear. He's got the same voice. <laughs> some people are Smokey and the Bandit kids. Some people are Barney kids. Some people are Jaws kids. Some kids are pro wrestling kids, yeah. which means they're left alone. Uh, uh, <laughs> left alone. Just, to watch things for hours. I have to. I have to say this though. Jaws one was Jaws one was scary, but Jaws two, he's right. There was a little kid with a bunch of erratic, crazy shit teenagers yeah. on on this fucking collage of ships out in the middle of the ocean dealing with this. Shark. I was the kid. I yeah. just identified with that kid. Yeah, a that little kid. gives my age. Oh, so yeah, and right. he was on the boat, the shit boat with the fucking moron. He wasn't with his his bro. On the cool, am I right? He was on like some. He was on the. I've never seen Jaws two, so you have to explain it to me. Because Jaws one, I was like, check out Jaws two. Basically, this. First of all, there's another shark. Let's just get that out of the way. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) There's a whole other big shark. Oh no! Another big shark. I, you know, it would have been a little interesting if they they went with an octopus or some other animal, right? (laughs) But they just went with another. Holy shit! uh, Big shark. So they they basically did a Darcy from Married with Children. (laughs) And they just brought in another yes. shark. Yes, they did that. Just like they, a little bit bigger of a shark. Yes. And, all right. They brought in a, just another big shark right out of the gate. Yeah. I mean, he oh, he's in the movie. Now, let me ask you something as yeah. far as the movie goes. Yes. Do they portray it like it might be Jaws? Like it might be the first one? No. It's another they, shark. Do, so they make it right off the top they, like this is another shark. He, can I say something, yeah. though? Yeah. You have a good point. They do portray it. He has a resentment. The first one it's might true. have been just like, fuck, hey, man, look at all these people I can eat. Ooh, oh, buffet. And, so and we then, should do Jaws from his perspective. So, Food. Yeah, yeah, and he, then he gets no, blown he was, up. He was over in South Africa yeah. down I the is, bottom. I wish I could do it. Yeah. I am a shark and I am swimming. Oh, no, look at this. These are like <laughs> full of people. <laughs> that's that's Africa. But okay. that's, we'll take it. Yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> but, I can't do an Afrikaners. So, hey, yeah, now, baby. It's, but uh, the shipping lanes got crazy over there. I mean, all the, the shipping and the, the, the tr- just the traffic. So he was like, you know what? I got to get out of here. It's too crowded. <laughs> and the, the, he went over. Then he went, he went down to the coast, Cape Horn, a little, a little wavy, a little crazy. So then he went up the coast. Up the he, coast. He was in Long Island. He was like, dude, these guys are fucking nuts. I'm out. Yeah. I'm yeah. out. Then he found Cape Cod. So you're saying that's how he traveled he found Cape Cod and it was you, a think bunch- you think he stopped off in Long Island and they're like, yo, you're gay, yo. Yeah. Yo, you're a gay-ass shark. Look yeah. at the gay-ass shark. Yeah, and he was exactly. like, I want to go to, yeah. he's like, I'm going up He's like, north. this is too much. New England, they're all nice. Then he went up, he went up into, you know, Boston. Mm-hmm. But they were like, dude, get the fuck out of here, If you kid. were a fucking black shark, we would kill you right now. <laughs> don't, you we fucking don't. lucky you're not a mud shark. <laughs> you fucking would be dead. <laughs> we wouldn't let you on the fucking Celtics. <laughs> so... Then he's like, I'm out of here. All I'm right. not going here. So he goes up to Maine where they're all... Well, well, he goes up to Maine and they're a little too nice. Yeah. He's up uh, in Canada. They're like, hello. Hi. Hey, hey how are you? How are you there? Where did the original Jaws 1 take place? Where Cape it, Cod. Cape Cod. But that's what I'm getting to. Martha. Okay. He went up to Canada. Too nice. He went back down. He's like, I'm out of here. I'm going all, I'm going to fucking Brazil. On the way down, he stopped... Get a big old butt. Take st- a bite out of a big old butt. Stopped off at Hyannisport. It was a bunch of... 
thin fucking uh, yeah. red skin white people. Yeah, a little just on the beach, chicken boned. Yeah, chicken bone. A couple snap fat, right through them. Couple fat ladies. Yeah, little fat kid. So this is where does Jaws two take place in the same town? Did Amity. He basically? Yeah, it takes place and, in Amity yeah, Island. Yeah. So what happened was on Jaws two. Now the the first one, the guy got fucked. He, you know, he didn't know what he was doing. He got a little fucked up. Dude, he, I love that. I love that we're taking his side in all this. And then he went up to the boat, and he thought they were playing. He was throwing. They were throwing stuff at him. Yeah. Well, I'll take the. I'll take a barrel. Ooh, another barrel. Is this an amuse bouche? <laughs> he was like, I like a nice appetizer. <laughs> he actually heard the captain go. He can't do three. Yeah. No was, animal can do three. He goes, and he was like, I can. He goes, I don't have a doll's eyes. I got pretty nice eyes. Yeah. I got very nice eyes. And also, the USS Indianapolis. They're a bunch of warmongers. They should have died. Yeah. And he's like, you guys are feeding me. Mm-hmm. They were just feeding them. And Richard Dreyfus was like, I don't like sharks. <laughs> yeah. I hate sharks. <laughs> we're gonna do a pro jaws. Uh, I hate their <laughs> damn bodies and their gray skin. And then he heard the guy go, I think we're gonna need a bigger boat. Yeah, and then he was like, more food. He's like, they want me to really play with them. Yeah. So that's when he you fucking know, bit yeah. in and then they shot it. Right. Bye bye. He threw the he threw the thing in his mouth, he went ha and he shot him, blew him up. Now, Jaws two It's his aunt. It's his aunt. <laughs> it's his aunt. No, not his mom. His mom is yeah. she's way over. Dude, she, I want to watch. I want to watch Jaws too. It's his aunt Peggy. And every time his aunt Peggy pops up, I want him to go. Where's Joshua? <laughs> Where's Joshua? Just like geez, that's the whole thing. The whole movie is them looking for it. Well, I don't believe that. Watch. It's worth a watch. It's not good, but it I means it's fun to watch. But it scared the shit out of you to give you fucking oh, well, shark I mean, dreams. Jaws two is not bad. It's not bad. It's not the. It's not a Jaws one. What's the worst Jaws three? Is the worst Jaws. How many Jaws did they Jaws make? 3D. I would say Jaws the Revenge is worse than oh. 3D. Black Lou, can you bring up a trailer of uh, Jaws the Revenge? Why do you, Jaws call, it, 3D. Why do you call him that? He's Black Lou, he's I, White <laughs> Jaws 3D takes place at a park. I, I'm, I'm sarcastic Bob. Okay. <laughs> I'm Explain It All Dan. <laughs> I like to explain I'm, it I'm Get It Kelly. Yeah. <laughs> is this it? All right. This is the trailer for Jaws the Revenge. It's always... Man has just... always been drawn to the sea. Starring Michael Caine. Really? Patriot. It's mystery. It's secrets. But there is also a vague uncertainty. A sense of intrusion into an alien world. Loans, small business loans, is unwelcome and completely at the mercy of the most terrifying predator on earth. Man's deepest fear has risen. Deepest fear has risen again. Commitment. I mean, we have a lot of fun here. We do have a lot of fun. The shark is the same shark as the first one. Ellen Brody. The, could, wife. Yeah, the wife. That's the only one that returned. That's so yeah. funny. But it's the same shark as the first one. It actually has patches on it. No. <laughs> oh, God damn yeah, it. I they, was about to believe They actually that. put band-aids on it to keep it together. Uh, hi, I'm Gullible Dan. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm Sarcastic Bob. <laughs> oh, I like this. Uh, well, we're going to come back with more shark talk because we got to take another break. But I really want to get to the bottom of this because someone died recently with a shark. And also, there's... Um, there's a lot. Of, there's a trailer on. Sharks. Watch. Can I say something? Yeah, sharks are in right now. Sh- no, sharks. Very in. <laughs> it's very chic. <laughs> sharks are, um, and this is a fact. Yeah. Sharks were hunted out of, out of uh, these areas. They're back because they the seals are back. Yep. We stopped killing seals. Jacob's nodding with you like he's your hype so, man so on now, a fucking rap song. They're back. Dan, that's true. So that's going right. in the going in the water right now. <laughs> going in the water right now in Cape Cod. Yeah. And Long Island is like going, being in South Africa or Australia. South Africa. Oh, uh, yeah. A uh, little better. A little better. A little better. Yeah, like Africana. District 9. District 9 <laughs> robots, aliens. Uh, yeah, fuck Shark Week. It's Shark Day on the bonfire. We'll be right back. <laughs> and now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. It's not the lyrics? Oh, really God. Good. No, don't do that over royal blood. You picked royal no, blood. No, you're gonna rap. Sucking I don't in the rap. Fucking in the fucking in the sucking in the fucking. Oh God, I miss Jay. It's the bonfire. Oh my Comedy God. Central Radio Series. Oh my God. Radio. I'm kidding, Bobby. Oh Let me plug. God. Let me plug the show. It's the bonfire. Comedy Central Radio Series XM 95. I'm Dan Soder, guest hosting Bobby Kelly, the Bobby Kelly. Oh, plug the original show. Though you know what, dude? Podcast on Riotcast.com. No, not that one. 
Oh, you fucking oh, ass. I thought you meant that's the original. Well, I can't was the original believe you said show. that. That went through me like a fucking spear. I mean, I don't know. You're easily offended today. Excuse me? Because you just well, got I'm upset. offended by that. Well, Robert Kelly's going to be Maybe at the Maybe I grab a Mustang. No. <laughs> Robert Kelly's going to be uh, Dude, I'm so glad Jacob's not in here. He would shit blood. On uh, Robert Kelly's going to be at the McCurdy Theater in Sarasota, Florida, June 8th through June 10th. Then at the Vermont Comedy Club in Burlington, June 14th through 16th. For tickets and other tour dates, go visit robertkellylive.com. And of course, go listen to You Know What, Dude? On Riot Cast Network. You know what, dude? You know what, well, here's dude? The th- here's the problem with you. What's the problem? I found out, and, and I, I, I don't think that you said it. I did you that. left my party the other day to go. To to go so you did a double fuck. You did a double whammy. I had a threesome. You went over to my party. Go. Oh, I gotta go. Mm-hmm. Like you had to go. You didn't have. I to I didn't go. say I had to go. I never said I had to go. You I did. said I'm leaving. No, you said you said, dude, I, said, I got going. it. No, I'm taking off. No, yeah, I'm taking off. I got That's it. Not, I have to leave. No, you said I have to take off. I didn't say I have to take. Off. I have to go. No, I know I didn't, buddy. I was sitting in the front yard while you guys were smoking cigars. You I go, go, I gotta I, go. I'm out of here. Uh, no, you didn't say I'm out of here. I said I'm out of here. You said I, nobody's nobody leaves a party. Goes, I'm out of here. What are you, the Fonz? Lou Lewitsky, how nobody do you leave goes, parties? Hey, Lew- Cunningham, I'm out of here. Hey, Sods, bu- <laughs> Sods, out. But <laughs> damn, I'm ruling per use. Thanks for the steak tips, kid. I go, I'm no, out. I go. Thanks for the meat and the beef and the ice cream. Sods, out of here. <laughs> you said. <laughs> yeah, and then I rollerbladed away. You, <laughs> dude, you said I gotta go. I gotta take off. I didn't say I have to leave. You said I gotta take off. That's a soda thing. I have to take off. I gotta take off. I gotta take off. You have to go to another fucking house. Yeah, because I was gonna go home to watch the Cavs Warriors game. That, no, that you didn't though. You and went. I went to my friend's house you to went, see their you, house. You, you listen. Why do you man. think I rented a car to go see your house? Yeah, no, you did a double dang. You wouldn't have rented a car just to come see me. You were like, I'll rent it. I'll rent a car to, to see you any day. To go up and see Bob and them. Yeah. They were in on the fucking equation. But they're the, they're, they're on the way out. Buddy. They weren't the main hang. Let me tell you something. I hung at your house. Can I say something right now? Yeah, sure. I thought you came up to see me yesterday. I did. I came to see Max. I thought you came up to see my fan. I, I came to see Max. I thought you came up to spend some time with us. I did. Do I not get a coffee, Jacob? Oh, man. I, and I, you then, hated me. And then I find out later that not right. I got to go means not I got to go. I got stuff to do. I, I got to go I, see. I did have stuff to I got to go, I go see, see another friend. Yeah. In your town. Yeah, like seven That you away. don't know about. But why would you ever know them? You didn't why didn't you just say it then? Then why you didn't wait you... at Dos Caminos. Well, why didn't you just go like this? Hey, bro, I gotta go. My other friend lives right up the street. I did. What? I did say that. No, you didn't. Well, we're outside smoking cigars. No, not to me. Ask Joe List. Not to me. We'll ask Joe List together. It doesn't matter. It's not his party. It's not, he's not. He's not the host. He was the person I told I was leaving. And you were taught. You were mid conversation when I was leaving. And I go, Bobby, I'm getting out of here. No, I gotta go. Word. I'm getting out of here. I gotta go. <laughs> I'm getting out of here. I gotta go. Well, you don't know agree to disagree. I said I'm getting out of here. It hurts. Well, I want to let you know, yeah. I spent four hours at your house, and I spent 45 minutes at their house. And I declined a dinner invita- invitation. Yeah, because you were full. Yes. From my fucking hard work. <laughs> from all my road fucking dates. Well, from me doing an extra well, fucking you, Saturday here and there, when you put and a like Sunday that, show. When you put it like that, yeah, yeah Bobby, yeah. What, what did that hump have? Uh, hit a joint, it was pretty fun. Oh, therein lies the rub. Weed. So I gotta. So now I gotta. I gotta lose my sobriety thirty years just to Wait, keep you what? at a party for an extra hour. I want to know what you your issue fucking is. dope I fiend. Know, I want to know what your issue is. Where you won't allow someone to go spend time with another friend that lives close. Because you know what? You didn't tell me, Dan. It's not I about. Can't. It's not about you How doing I it. It's you? about your secrets. What are you talking You're about? You're keeping secrets You're- from me. <laughs> You're, You're keeping secrets yeah. from me. Dude, I'm not keeping secrets. Why? I'm Why? I'm not keeping secrets. I've never from held you. anything back from you. Dude, you're too sensitive. I have other friends. Yeah, and I'd be fine. Yeah, I'm... but you I, but you know what? what? You know about them. I'm up front with no, them. I, don't. I tell you about them. No, I don't. Them. I, get, I get slammed into them at your barbecue where you go, this is fucking Mark from the cigar place. Yeah, but I don't hide them from you. I didn't hide anybody from I don't, you. I don't, I don't hide anything from you, man. And you're hiding squares, Gar- man. Gary, Gary and Sarah? You hide, yeah. Is that over. their names? Yeah. Oh, well, that would have been nice to know yesterday. <laughs> that would have been nice when my Max walked up and went, "Where Dan go?" <laughs> I and I went, "What?" I he goes, "Dan, where did Dan go, Dad?" I and I went, "Oh, he he had to go. I, I lied to my son. I, hate you. I told him you had something to do." I hate you so much. By the way, I, love I lied to my kid for you. I left as Jim Norton was showing up. Yeah, I know. He showed up late. Yeah. Well, here's the thing: is that. 
let's just I've evolved my my old friends. Yeah, I I'm 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 blessed to have two versions of friends. I have you, Joe, Ari, mm-hmm. Lewis, who are much younger and have hope, mm-hmm. and then I have an older bunch of people like Keith, Keith, Jim. Colin, Jim, Voss, who forget. Who lay? I got a barbecue. Dude, I found a great picture. I told your wife I'm going to send to her of yeah. you in your old apartment holding Max yeah. right after he shit his pants, oh, and yeah. you have classic Bobby. I'm a throw up face, <laughs> and I found it on my laptop because you're holding it like this. <laughs> and it was like I took the picture with my phone right as you're like, <laughs> and he's just like this tiny little bean in your hand. And yeah, you're like, oh, <laughs> it's great. I would say that we with the time that he uh, threw up shit projectile vomited projectile shit, and then he. Uh, I went, oh, and then he pissed in my mouth. That's and then Dawn, the trifecta. And then Don pissed her pants laughing. There you go. That's was, a, fam- a family that pees and ingests pee together. Yeah, it was pretty, stays it was together. Pretty a fucking, it was pretty much my nightmare. Back to Shark Day on the bonfire. Uh, we were talking about Jaws and Jaws, and we were talking about um, Jacob's fear of sharks, which turned into a love of sharks. Uh, <laughs> Well, there's a news story today that came out, and uh, immediately the video on it. We're going to, of course, tweet this out at the Bonfire SXM on Twitter. Uh, the story says, what is what is the, if you go back up, Black Lou, it says, the, this video contains content that some viewers may find disturbing. The reason it says that is because a, a teenage boy had his penis ripped off oh. in a horrific shark attack as he swam with Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Where the fuck was this? Brazil. Where? Brazil? Yeah. Oof. So that's when you said they were going to Brazil. Well, I mean, that that shark was going to Brazil, but he <laughs> he was he didn't like it. It was just too crazy. The waves are too high. So then his his uh, his, his gay cousin was like, "I'm just going to go there and rip dicks off." Yeah, yeah. Nom 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 well, nom nom nom. His cousin isn't. A, it's not a great white that did this. His Fuck. cousin is a bull shark. Oh, that did this. Am I correct? Course, it is, of course. What well, shark, shark is it? Yeah, the bull shark. Uh, yes, of course. <laughs> The, of course, the bull shark in Brazil. Very, they're very angry. Welcome to Brazil. I will bite your dick off. Um, <laughs> an they have great asses, the bull sharks. Oh yes, we have big fat butts, and we like to <laughs> bite weenies. Um, emergency surgery: his penis and femur were amputated by the bite. Oi! What kind of shark so, was it? Tiger shark. Tiger shark. Tiger shark. Oh, that was his cousin Vic. Victor. Yeah, Vic. Victor Vincenzo. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'd give Victor him an Italian. Victor Italy. Vic, yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> you were saying that. What's the name of who's the cinematographer that you want to blow? Uh, Arthur Crescenzo. Cr- Andy Casagrande. Andy wow. Casagrande. <laughs> so, hello, I respect your openness. But what's his name? Andy Casagrande. I didn't say I wanted to. That's awesome. No, Ever since the surgery, he left with it. He goes. <laughs> well, he they, goes did they uh, did they uncut your fucking he, he alpha goes, male? <laughs> Jacob always says, have you seen his cinematography? I'll let him pop in my mouth. I'm like, wow. Jesus, Jacob. So I want to be naughty. Yeah, he wants to be real naughty. So how old was this kid? Uh, when this he, kid was 18. 18 years old. He got his That's dick. Him. So he got his dick in his... Why did they say he got his penis ripped off like that was the only thing? Like he was like... Like took it off like a cherry top. I don't I don't know. I'm wondering like if the shark thing. just came right between his... Just uh, crotch and piss. As he's swimming up, he goes, Nim, here he goes, here we go. Yeah, but you know, Nim, 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 sh- Nim. sharks don't like penises. It's like a skin tag to us. Uh, yeah, yeah, There's like, yeah. Uh, that's what I said. Yeah. It's like it's like a, a fucking stem on a cherry. They just yeah. pop it off. Like, yeah, they don't want that. That's so, like when you eat, like, uh, when you like get a deer and you cut open the, the, uh, the shit sack. You know, you take a nice dick and balls. Oh, you know he spit it out. Yeah. It's a waste. It's chicken neck. It's a, it's a waste. You can could, you could probably, maybe the sharks can put the dick in some fucking sauce and make some nice. I can't wait till some fat white couple from uh, England find it on the beach a yeah. month from now. Oh, look at this <laughs> Brazilian wiener. Oh, spit up. Oh, look at this jellyfish. Oh, I'll say it has some sea damage on it. Honey, put that down. Oh, this looks to be a part of a bigger chunk ripped <laughs> off. Someone didn't enjoy this little puddly wuddly. Let's make a keychain out of oh, it for the Cedric. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this, Francis. A penis. <laughs> I uh, can make a change purse out of it. Is this the video? Showing the shark sucking dick. <laughs> Fuck you, sharks. You guys are gay. <laughs> gay ass shark. <laughs> oh, it's just the reaction. It, yeah. This is just the modern. Oh, wow. There must be a thousand cell phone shots of this. Yeah, it's all the same thing. It's just a bunch yeah. of people on a beach uh, yelling and 
Portuguese. Dude, let me tell you something. Tiger sharks, no joke. Aren't they the ones that, Jacob, you're a shark, you're our resident shark expert. They're the ones that, uh, is it nurse sharks that bite? Or, or? No, no, tiger is the worst. They said you have a better shot with a great white of yep. surviving. Because tigers, they're like, kiss, say your prayer, you're going to die because they don't back down. They don't so back they're down. like black bears. Like the way grizzly yeah. bears, brown bears, will stop attacking you if you play dead. No, they won't. Grizzly bears? Brown, black, br- black bears won't are stop. safer no, they're not. than... Absolutely. You want to bet? How much? Ten bucks right now. I say brown bears stop attacking you if you play dead. Black bears don't. Black bears will, will go hang until on, you're dead. Hang on. Let me get your face. I don't like your face. Ten bucks right now. Yeah, but you get some real confident Western thing going I on. I got right a little now. Colorado knowledge. <laughs> and if you'd like to know. Uh, all right. I will bet you ten bucks right now that black... Brown, black bears are safer than brown bears. Not true at all. Black, all right, cool. bears, black bears go till the end. Brown bears will leave you alone. You play dead. All right, cool. I, I say that. I'll, all right. I'll do it. Find the facts. <sighs> Let's look. We got uh, Black Lou looking into it. Well, that's not fair. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 why, I don't know why you think. What do you think Black Lou's part bear? <laughs> black bear. He goes, well, he goes, no, man. It says here black bears just getting fucked with with cops, man. You got to leave him yeah, alone. He's, black Lou takes a social yeah, issue. Maybe yeah. a black bear takes a knee because he thinks police brutality is the thing that's happening in a forest. Can I get Nick DiPaolo to look this up? <laughs> he goes, fucking all bears are a problem. Brown bears, black bears. But you know, you know what bears you know are? What pol- polar bears. Polar bears are nice. They're, they're in zoos. They're in they Babies, um, They're in danger. They're killing polar bears for every day. There's one left. Aha, Bobby, brown grizzly bears. If you are attacked by a brown grizzly bear, leave your pack on and play dead. Lay flat on your stomach with your hands clasped behind your neck. Black bears, if you are attacked by a black bear, do not play dead. Try to escape to a secure place such as a car or building. Yeah, great. That's fine. Yeah, you're, Ten you're bucks. Fucking three. No, whoa, 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 whoa. Ten bucks. Remember bucks. the bet. Ten bucks. I said who's what bear is more dangerous. Yeah. Black bears go. Type in what bear is more dangerous. A you black bear. Oh, you know what this bear is, like, is more dangerous? A black bear or a brown bear? You're changing the a argument like a chick. A light skin bear or a really dark pumpernickel bear? Just like a girlfriend, you're taking the argument to a different place to win it. Which, which black blue? It was, it was the way you said Find brown out. bear. <laughs> What? Look at this picture. It looks like the brown, uh, the brown bear is like, who the fuck are y'all to? <laughs> hey, is- man, you walking down the street. <laughs> Honey, let's cross the street. It says grizzly and polar bears are the most dangerous. Boom! Ten bucks, sucker. That's not at all what it was. We were saying about playing dead. That's the song I come out to when I do comedy. <laughs> there they go. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the grizzly bear of comedy, Robert. And then I do this. Hey. <laughs> the dancing bear of comedy. <laughs> I, I do like what's what's the rerun? What was that show? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You do the rerun? Uh, dude, please start doing the rerun. I do a little double dutch. So wait. What's I mean, up? who? You guys have to call this bet. What was the bet? I, I said because I'm right. I said a brown bear is more dangerous than a black bear. That way, and then we shook. Now, whether you choose to fucking listen, Black Lou's Black Lou's shaking his head. No, of course he is. I don't believe he said that. I said, uh, I think he said playing dead. Which one will you survive? With? No, yeah. no, 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 yeah. no, right? Yeah, yeah, that's Whoa, right. stop. No, yeah, yeah. listen. This is what happened. What happened? He said that he what did happened? say that. But when we made the bet, I said brown bear is more dangerous than a black bear. And he said, yep. And he said, no, black bear is more dangerous. And I said, okay, shake, like, do that for a I'm right if that's the case. Because a brown bear is more dangerous than a black bear. Jacob, are you saying that he Bobby's right? That. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I just read it. So I got one. You got one. <clears throat> what do you got, Lou? So the answer is brown bear is more dangerous than black? Yes. Bobby wins. Ten bucks suck. Here's your fucking ten dollars. Yeah, well, maybe I'll fucking give it to your friend. Yeah, up in time. Westchester. Maybe next time I'll go spend time at their house. How great would it be if you go up there next time and I'm up there? I'd be, oh, dude, I'd yeah, be I friended in. them. Uh, no, but they do the cre- they do the horror movie thing where, they, where I walk in and I go, hey guys, what are you doing? Like, We're just having fun with our tea. Robert, is it? And hey, then you go, Dan! Uh, I go, oh, hi, Bobby. What's up, Dan? Oh my God. You yeah. guys know each other? And then Theo comes out and goes, Uncle Robert! I go, oh, Theo! <laughs> Max comes out with Theo and they're playing. Oh, what? Don, Max is looking after Theo because Theo's only two and Max is five. Don comes out of the kitchen with an apron and her bun oh, cake. Oh, no. Or American chop suey. And then your buddy goes like this, dude, you got to try. Have you ever tried a steak dip? And he goes, you got to go though, right? Don't you got to go? Yeah, you got to go, right, Dan? You got a spot? 
I didn't say that. I didn't say that at all. Why'd you well, say that? Like I said that's that? what I assume. Oh, I hate you. I hate that's what that I you, assume. No. you had, you know what you had? You had what? a spot at another friend's house. I did. Something just happened magically. I was had a microphone. What happened? Uh, oh, I just uh, turned it up. Lou just gassed you. Listen, man. Because you just want all that money. Your voice became more powerful. <laughs> I think, oh, I can't wait. I'm Back to this, this guy. Oh, get, guys. Oh, sorry, guys. Who voted for me? Oh, that's fear. You're giving. You're paying him off. He can't take that money. That's fear. You can't. I'm gonna fire him now. Sorry, Black Lou. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Get your own coffee. You know what you have? On? How's that? That's how the world works, my friend. Black Lou, you right know there. What? Black Lou. Yes. That's why I want you to know we're a team till the end. Yeah, a team <laughs> with no money. If, as long as you, as long as you get, don't get friends in your same neighborhood. I won't <laughs> leave you for that. Okay. Ooh. Well, there's a movie coming out. Speaking of sharks. Oh, it looks good. You've seen it. Well, here's what here's the problem with shark movies. At, I mean, Sharknado, you have to just go full fuck you. Yeah. This is stupid, right? Yeah. Or when you try to go scary, you can't repeat what was done because we get it. But this one- Looks fun. What are you saying this one is? Fun? This one said, let's go for the Megalodon. Well- Let's go for the motherfucker shark that is not supposed to exist. But if you go on YouTube, there's videos of it existing. Like, no, we're going to look that up after this, but let me tell you how I got to this. I go to traileraddict.com all the time. I know. They put, uh, they put, I'm telling the listeners, Robert. Uh, I was just saying, because I'm your friend, I know what you do. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> fucking but I, Gary up in Westchester knows that. <laughs> yeah, but he goes, I go to Trailer Addict all the time, and I, and they just tells you the title with a play clip, and it said The Meg, and I thought it was going to be like an Anne Hathaway movie where she's like, <laughs> she's The Meg. She is absolutely in this movie. And I'm watching it, and it literally took me about 30 seconds to be like, this is a fucking shark movie? And then they say, she- The Megalodon. So I got all excited and I texted Jacob I was like hey did you see the trailer for the Meg and he texts back oh yeah and it was like I, I want to see the other Meg yeah, I want to see that she, movie that she's was... a bitch <laughs> I can take my wife to that this summer <laughs> the Meg the Meg that's what you call it when you have a friend up in Westchester but you have oh. another friend you know tell him it's called getting Megged uh, I gave. I went and saw the Meg yeah. I went to my other friend. I megged you. You did meg me. I megged you. It's better than getting pegged. Yeah. I was going to say that bleeds easily into getting pegged. Let's watch this uh, trailer for The Meg. It says, uh, oh, Jacob, can I pause it real quick? You immediately, I'm assuming the second this trailer started, you were like, this is everything I want. A secret base, <laughs> 200 miles off the Chinese coast. I'm beyond underwater. Happy. Oh, yeah. An it, underwater city. <laughs> an underwater city, which feels very similar to Deep Blue Sea, yeah. which, as I said, is one of, I didn't know this. I said, I go, bring up the trailer for the Meg. It reminds me a lot of Deep Blue Sea, and Jacob goes, I love Deep Blue Sea. <laughs> it's great. It's a good movie, because you know why it was a good movie? Samuel L. Jackson and L. That Cool scene. No, Samuel L. Jackson... Given his motherfucker speech. Oh, and then the shark. Gets killed. Spoiler alert. My favorite was the soundtrack with LL Cool J's song, Deep Blue Sea, My Hat is Like a Shark's Fin. Yeah. Like, can you bring up that rap video? Can you bring up the music video? <laughs> it's one of the best. Because he's like, Deep Blue Sea, My Hat is Like a Shark's Fin. And yeah. he's just basically <laughs> rapping like he's a shark. How is this not your favorite song, Jacob? It's LL Cool J. <laughs> I love J. that song. I, just, I haven't thought about it in a while. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't thought about LL Cool J, Deep Blue Sea, My Hat is Like a Shark's Fin? Here it is right here. Play it. Oh. <laughs> Literally, every count of shit. Wait, the whole way's flooded. Dude, he goes, <laughs> I'm that's describing so, he goes, the scene. He goes, Thomas Jane is swimming. He's just naming the actors. <laughs> Yo, Samuel <laughs> Jackson's already dead. <laughs> Thomas Jane swimming down the hallway. <laughs> they go, and that chick, you don't know her name, but I already said. They go, LL, did you do this song late, like a book report in elementary school? Where he goes, Yo, I had to write the song, so I just watched it and just yeah. wrote everything that happened. Yo, we're in the water, but a hurricane's coming. And he goes, Scientists. Oh, there's a lot of scientists. Scientists. That's the first <laughs> first bar. We trained the sharks to be nice, but then they said no way. And yeah. that's when I said, fuck that, okay. Thomas Jane, he was in Boogie Nights. He played Thomas Punisher. Jane, but he he was- <laughs> oh, this is great. Now it's him. Now they turn the shark into him. Oh, look at this in the video. Because this is when the shark comes up and attacks, but now it's LL Cool J. Oh, he turned into a shark! He turned into a goddamn oh shark! My God. This music video might be my favorite. That's I didn't realize how much videos. I love this. That's a great video. Is that Juliet Lewis dancing all sexily in the water? You know how much money they spent on that to fucking CGI him into a shark? Oh, man, that'd be great. Uh, please, someone go up to karaoke and just be like, Do you have deepest bluest? <laughs> and they go, I don't know, what is that? Is that like a Indigata de Vida? Dude, I would like, fucking uh, bow. You go, LL Cool J. Deepest I would Bluest. I would bow if somebody did that. Thomas. <laughs> oh, I love that. It really that. is a masterpiece. 
Yeah, it really is. Yeah, I didn't realize how fucking much I love it. Now let's go to this <laughs> this new masterpiece. It's very similar. Which but seems very similar. Here's what bothers me really quick about this first thing is yeah. that this is technology and the amazing stuff that goes into putting this structure into play. Yeah. But they're still flying in on a fucking helicopter. What are they? Should some, be? Somebody I needs to update the helicopter do you in a want, movie. So you want you want a? I don't want to hear it. You want evolved aviation? I, I just want. To, I don't want to hear if look at if you have a, a mate like even in like that Pacific Rim thing. Yeah, they had helicopters. So they, there's a fucking oh, robot. You want, you want jets to go like? I want them to just go up like a hovercraft. You want jets and shit. Yeah, I want. I want it to like the, the, you know the drone that Max has yeah. for thirty eight bucks. Yeah, yeah. You want Ma- air, you want yeah. Airwolf. Remember want, Airwolf? Yeah, exactly. They should. They have that. He's an Airwolf fanatic. Why wouldn't you be? <laughs> Why wouldn't you be? It's a fucking helicopter. That, it, it's Night Rider for helicopters. It really is. That's it's exactly. Be, why it wouldn't is. you be a fucking? Dude, there it is. Let me just say, there Jacob has been validated by Bobby on literally every single thing we've brought up. That Jacob just keeps looking at me, going, "Yeah, no, that's right." <laughs> well, Bobby's preaching. I got five bucks and a new best friend, <laughs> and I won't go to another person's house in Westchester. Yeah, he wouldn't fucking meg. What is it? Meg me? He'd beg you. Yeah, I megged you. The meg <laughs> meg me. me. I megged you. He'd fucking meg me. He'd bring you a cake too. He's a hell of a baker. Yeah, he, you don't have to because we have cake. Mm. And when yeah, you nice ate it, I, I know you weren't going to go to another house and have another piece of cake somewhere. I well, Jacob, never. FYI, quick heads up: if you have to take a poop, get ready to hold the door shut like it's the zombie apocalypse. Hey, FYI, just I told you, go into my bedroom. You can poop in my room. One door. Two door and then lock the third door. <laughs> How's that? Well, good luck. Good yeah, luck. Whatever. If you're if you're a kind of monster that'll poop in your friend's uh, master bedroom, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I want to be friends with you. Uh, let's watch the trailer because this sharks. I've heard this sea's infested with LL Cool J's. <laughs> uh, it's like a ball rolling down the thing. It does look exactly like Deep Blue Sea. Look at that shark at the bonfire. SXM will tweet that. Yeah! Bites the glass. I mean, Jason Statham's in this? Oh, man. I heard he's like five foot five. Is he five something, foot five? Something There's no very one. short. I'm very short. I think bit almost through the glass. Can I drive a car through it? This is Jason Statham trying to bring his up. discovered is bigger than we ever thought possible. How big is that thing? It was the largest shark that ever existed. Largest shark ever existed? Thought to have been extinct over two million years. Wrong. I love the black dude that always knows what's up. That started with Samuel. That always started with Samuel Jackson in Jurassic Park. Oh, look at that octopus! See, this is what I'm talking about. Some marine life. Squid. Oh, it's a squid. Good. It's megalodon. That's great. Just kidding, right? I love that Jason Statham's first line of the trailer is, That's a megalodon. <laughs> you stupid fucking twat. Watch this, even though. Now. This is great. Uh, look how big that shark is. See? There are things out there. You need to find it and kill it. What? Why don't you just put a track? What? On it? Did you guys ever watch Shark Week? <laughs> look at that. Chomp, chomp. And I like they put the music to it. It looks heroic. I'm absolutely going to see this. Just because Jason Statham saying snarky things to a shark is going to be my favorite. Looks like the chums in the water. I don't know. I was a bigger fan of Jaws. I told you off air, Dan. Is the approximate 10 feet per every inch of a shark tooth for a megalodon. Look at, Look at that. that. Look at this shot. I'm oh, cool with this. Great, I'm huh? seeing that. First of all, there's only two ways you can kill a shark that size. Snarky. Snarky comments. You light it on fire, you blow it up. That's it. You can't light it stab on it. fire? Can't stab it. Can't a cut megalodon? It in half. You light it on fire, or you blow it up. A megalodon. Th- that's it. Where's this YouTube video that you said is a real thing of the, it's not supposed to exist? Type it in. Is. Type real life megalodon. Real life megalodon. Tell it, type it in. So the whole premise of this trailer is that the megalodon is a two million year old fish that doesn't exist anymore. Well, it does exist. It does exist? It does. Where? Well, well, they say that it's been in the deepest parts of the sea. Deep blue sea like my head is like a shark swim? Not that deep. Okay. That's a little cool J.D. Yes. Evidence of megalodon? Boom. There it is. 
The monster shark lives. Everything's being broken. I just want to do it as Jason Statham. Scientific evidence is proven <laughs> that it's not really going to happen. But it kind of can happen. <laughs> the prehistoric shark Megalodon measured up to 70 feet and 70 tons. 700, 276 serrated teeth, each 7 inch long. Jacob Atot's cock gets harder than Chinese algebra when I talk about this. They're thought to be extinct, but there's evidence of a Megalodon's existence today. Want to know? It was just a video of me swimming in the ocean. Dude, I would <laughs> fucking walk off. I'd walk off the show. I'd never do radio just again. Splashing. It'd be the funniest just thing. Me ever. splashing in Aruba with Ray Hawaii. Allen. This is Hawaii, 2009. This is a marketing video. This is a marketing video. That's shot too well. This is a marketing video. <laughs> this is a marketing video for the movie. Y'all are full of shit. What's that supposed to be? Is that supposed to be the shark? Yeah, that's it. He's just washed up. Look watch, clo- watch. Looks closely. A whale's tail was completely severed. A bite, bitten by a megalodon. A whale's tail. So it's a beached whale, and they're saying that it, the whale's tail is completely severed. Cut off. Okay. In Hawaii. It's not like it's Nova Scotia where they eat it. A local marine biologist who also had his have his heart restarted, and he's also a transporter, concluded that the only animal capable of this would be the size of a megalodon. That's right. And then I said, what if I fought it hand to hand? Look at that. It looks like his dick's hanging out of his pants. <laughs> at the Bonfire SXM, we'll tweet it away. It basically is just like organs spilling out of a fucking it's total, whale. It's total garbage. A, a volunteer <laughs> shark spotter. This is bullshit. Wow, come on. Where you get that? South Africa. Are you upset, Jacob? Because you know the megalodon's not real? I know it's extinct. It's a prehistoric shark. What if it did show up? <laughs> I'd be excited. Would you? Would you be excited? Would you go? Would you go? And if I had a boat, and I was like, dude, no, we have a big boat. It's bigger than the Megalodon. And I said, look, me and Dan are going to go out with a white loo, black loo. Can I I interrupt this real quick? Sure. Where are you getting that kind of money, dude? Dude, first of all, I have a friend of mine that I just became friends with. He's an investor up in Westchester. Yeah. They live very close to me. <laughs> um, but he helped me invest this money can over I go the next your, five years. Can I go on your boat and pretend to be Jason Statham the entire time? Well, you're you're, you're going to be, yes, you can be Jason all Statham. Right. So we go on the boat. Great. Hey, uh, Bobby, I've got to get out of here. What? <laughs> i got another shark. I fuck. Can't see. <laughs> Brazilian Coast Guard. Oh, fuck, man. Wait, hold on. Brazilian Coast Guard, 60-foot predator. I want to see this. That? I don't see a difference. Look at it. What are we looking for? It's right there. Just watch the top right corner. What? Come on. Oh, come on. Yeah, right, Black Lou? Come That's on, man. That's it right there. Jacob That's... just rolled his eyes. Jacob just... You can't... From you that, do what every black guy... That's a megalodon. <laughs> black Lou? You can't conclude that's a megalodon. You do what every black guy does in a horror movie? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> and then I, I do the white guy thing where I go, seriously, we need to check it out. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Black Lou, I mean, we're going to go check it out. There, there's no way this can be a megalodon. Yeah. It's eating me! And White Lou did what every white guy like him does in a horror movie. He just kept doing his job yeah. until he gets killed. Yeah. <laughs> and then he, he just complains. He blames the equipment yeah. for not work and he goes no. this is a stupid thing you know i know he goes i know what i can do but it's risky yeah <laughs> might be able to get us out of here all right so we're on this boat that your friend in westchester yeah. just invested he, he invested my money so i'm, I'm a billionaire now because mm-hmm. he's now and we're great friends he dumped all his old friends me and him are just we're just friends we're westchester pals okay i don't even do comedy anymore that barbecue thing's done done i mean i invite a couple of people like joe and lewis over okay but not too many more but as entrepreneurs entrepreneurs because they are entrepreneurs yeah <laughs> ari's over yeah. um so we go on this boat, and we're going. I'm going to take you to the waters where this megalodon exists, and we're going to see him. We're going to chum the waters, and we're going to with LL Cool J with <laughs> with babies from other countries that didn't. Oh, okay. Um, so that's pretty dark, but I like it. It's pretty dark. But the megalodon only well, likes to eat babies that were forgotten about. <laughs> I don't know if you know this about megalodons. It doesn't like babies that are loved by both parents. It's the only food that they'll eat. Replay. And I actually had to import these this baby crate of old babies. Baby crates. Yeah. I had a, it was a baby. It was a it was a baby crate. It was like mm. one of those big. It was like a wood crate, like a six by six by six, of of babies that were you know you know yeah dead yeah dead and doa we have to but we we ground it up so you don't even know what it is looks like hamburger yeah you don't even know so you're not even a part of that i go don't try to eat this hamburger this is actually grounded up baby meat 
I go, baby chum. Yeah, but you think it's you think it's a joke when he says that. You go, ha. Yeah. You go, can you stop talking like Jason Statham? I go, not till I get off the boat. <laughs> so they then won't, they won't let me stop until I get off the boat. So then we chum in the waters. We're chum in the waters, and you're throwing the meat over and. Mm-hmm. A couple regular great white come up. You're like, oh shit, those are big, sixteen footer. Yeah. Then we get a female around nineteen feet, huge. But then all of a sudden, in the distance, you see this fin come up. How big? It like starts, a hat's fin? Like a? It starts out a foot. Like but then all of a sudden, like it, a hat is like a shark's fin. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it starts out like a little fin, like a regular shark. Okay. All of a sudden, it gets bigger. Okay. And all of a sudden, it's a little bigger. Yeah. It's like one of those little uh, sailboats you have at camp. Oh yeah, buoy. Like a sea, like a little, a mm-hmm. little uh, sea boat. Yeah, right. Yeah, so a Jewish big? camp with the little sail, and then all of a sudden it, it gets bigger, and that fin, that dorsal fin, that top fin, is the size of a, like a, I don't know, like a three bedroom in Queens. <laughs> Like a three bedroom queen. Why are all your comparisons real estate based? <laughs> you know, my friend. You know, once you get off this boat, I'm going to find you a fucking ample <laughs> apartment for you to start a family in. My friend, How do you feel about a two bedroom, two bath? <laughs> Me and my friend in Westchester, we do a lot of real estate Got deals it. now. That's how we made most of our money. I go, this is the most exciting this boat's been. <laughs> Usually he likes to just talk about third floor walk ups. I don't want to encounter that. You, you don't, don't want to encounter You wouldn't do that. Uh, how big? Uh, what if, if I the push shark you in? is 60 feet? <laughs> the well, shark's do you got a cruise ship? That, sh- you, you own a cruise ship? We have, we I, have, go, I go like this. Jacob, get closer to the rail. <laughs> 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 Sun's about to go down. I'd hit if you got uh, bumped in. <laughs> <laughs> Our boat is the, the 36th largest yacht in the world. 36? Where'd you pull that number from? <laughs> I, I didn't want to get number Who'd one. Who'd be proud of that? If I, if I had number one, it'd be unrealistic. There you go. Uh, pretty cool fact about this. 36th largest boat. <laughs> it's 36th largest yeah, boat. I get it's it. Not, it's not 40. Yeah. That's shit. Yeah, that's but, stupid. But it's not 20. Yeah, we're not it's being not, dumb yeah, here. Yeah, we're not. We're not I'm being realistic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a big yacht. But it's not It's not a, uh, a discovery yacht. It's not a... It's What's not the name a, of your boat? It's it's, it's called... Um, the Dude? The, no, it's called the Funky Odyssey. The Funky Odyssey? Yeah, because I, I rented out... Sounds like out, a sex boat. Well, I rented out to Sheik's ah. uh, for the weekend. <laughs> they go, no, I'm telling you, come down. We're going to rent the Funky Odyssey. <laughs> have a good time. You come... <laughs> I have women being brought in the divergence. <laughs> Hypothetically, one of their fathers might be Liam Neeson, but... The Taken Yacht. I got Dave... Yeah, I've got Dave Hussein coming in. He's going to be spinning. <laughs> so now we're on this yacht. But it's not a yacht that you should be hunting sharks on. It's yeah. not. You're on the back of a luxury, holy shit, the number 36 biggest yacht in the world. You're on the back of it, chumming with the baby. It, and you saw the shark, and it's coming right at you. Nobody's out there. We're all inside having dinner. Yeah. Why are you chumming if everyone's inside? Because oh, we're true. having you chum because you wanted to see it. You saw this. We didn't even know the shark existed. We were joking. Yeah. We uh, were joking. We did research, but we were kidding. We were fucked, but you saw it. And then right when we come up, we go, hey, Jacob, dinner. And then the shark fin goes down. Do we believe you? You come in, you're like, guys, guys, what do you say to us? Yes, I saw Megalodon. on. What do you say to us? He goes, Bobby, shut the fuck up. I'm serious. I know this is a party boat, but this needs to be a science boat now. <laughs> what? What? Needs to be a science boat. What are you talking? It's not a it's the like, it's the fucking Bobby, stop. The Megalodon is real. And he's angry that you're having so much fun on the high seas. Listen, I want to say something to you. Listen, calm down. I can't. Calm down. The Megalodon's it, real. Stop. We did the Dan tell him we did this as a joke. It's a joke, Jacob. Stop doing the voice, Dan. I can't stop doing the voice. Please, <laughs> Dan, you have to. St- I can't stop doing the voice. Uh, right, well, sorry, I have to keep talking. Jason, Jason just, all right, fine. Jason, just tell him we're joking. Jason, stay for me. All right, fine. Talking. Jason, tell him. The shark is fake. It's a big rubber shark. Yeah, we were kidding. Like yeah, we're, we're get, kidding. Jason. And then we laugh at you. Yeah. And that's our shark movie. So no one gets hurt. But then all of a sudden, boom, the boat gets bumped. I don't like that. The boat gets bumped. This is a and rewrite. Out, this, out, I'm out. This is a rewrite I'm not for. <laughs> oh, a but, happy movie <laughs> where no one gets hurt and there's no real sharks. But, but wait, 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 wait. Yeah. We go in and the boat gets bumped. But, and we're like, 
oh my god and you're like I told you yeah. but then we ran out on deck and we look over and it's just Big J and Christine Yay. on on Skadoos they showed up <laughs> Skadoos but J, Big J was a little he didn't a little fucked up yeah. so he hit the boat by accident got it and, and, he, and Christine's going Jay you gotta do this and he starts yelling at her going hey shut the fuck up I had to do this right and then the Megalodon appears because of Christine's laugh yeah that's how we write it well all of a sudden they're, they're kind of getting a little squabble mm-hmm. down on the water I get it and I'm like dude I'm gonna send down the boat and I go Jacob go down to the bottom level and open up the hatch and let them in I, I will now see and I think go- we got a good shark movie I think so I think we go right to production I think so Another are you movie? in I mean it's so intricate <laughs> <laughs> I'm digging it. Oh man, he's such a that's such a great way of saying that you just didn't, didn't pitch a hunk of shit <laughs> just right there and he goes, I've heard that before. And he goes, It is. I, I've Dude, heard, you should be a fucking CBS. I think FX said that about my pilot I pitched. There you go. <laughs> we, he, he's, the next note he's gonna give you is I just don't see where it's gonna go. And then my father hit me. Goes, and then we open up on that and it's goes, a comedy. No. What what do you can't do that? It's very intricate. Can the shark be bisexual? (laughs) What? Uh, And I'll get the show made. (laughs) Um, Ah, shit! It's very intricate. (laughs) Well, we got. I think we should go see the Meg as a group. The Meg. Uh, Definitely see. Yeah, I think we should go. I I think one thing you should never do is Meg your friend. Hey, but. This was interesting because I went over uh, on my side friend, my side chick. Oh, shit. At least I'm not the side chick. <laughs> but Max is Max Max is five now, right? Max is five. Um, Theo's two. Super into Winnie the Pooh. If you ever, if you think I'm having this conversation. About Winnie the Pooh? I'm not fucking talking about that kid and my kid together. Max is way better. Are you fucking nuts? I never said Theo was even close to Max, dude. Say Theo again. I'm jumping over this table. <laughs> Max is great. Max, you talk you talk about Max Solo. Okay. What'd you get him for a gift? Uh, I don't know. Did you open it? Yeah. What was it? You tell me. You tell me. Oh, shit. Somebody got you the gift? No, I didn't. Get, I, I gave him a card. With the thing did in it. Did you read the card? Yeah. With the thing in it? No, he read it. What did he say? He said, I can't read. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. Well, my point being is that I found out, because you know Jacob and I were in the studio before, and we were talking about sharks, and we started talking about shark movies, and then I said, oh yeah, that trailer for the new Christopher Robin movie came out, and he explained to me that he, and they basically took Winnie the Pooh and they gave it the hook treatment. Really? You know, the movie Hook with Robin yeah. Williams and Dustin Hoffman, yeah. where Peter Pan goes back to his life as Peter Pan. Jacob said he hated Hook. Said he never made it through. Yeah, Hook is a stupid movie. What? Thank you. Bring with that Ro- trailer Robin up. Robin Williams? Yeah. A fucking Fuck all corniest of you. shit ever. I'll fight all of you. I'm going to fight all of you. I, I, I You're all to, full I, of shit. I have to watch You it. didn't like Hook? Peter Pan Terrible. is a boy. Not Peter a Peter fucking man. Not a hairy guy and from San back. Francisco. Just play the fucking Hook trailer. Fuck and it. he lived in San Francisco. It's oh, terrible, Dan. Fuck you. Fuck You're a little kid who got sucked into liking that shit movie. That hairy cocksucker in a fucking tight suit. He goes, oh, I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'm going to jerk off. Oh. <laughs> I'm Peter Pan. I'm flying around. I'm in a choke jerk. Yeah, and that's Here, D- Dustin Hoffman. Trailer. Exactly. Dustin Hoffman's a legend. Yeah, not as fucking... A Steven Spielberg film? Who gives a shit? Fuck you. You're all wrong. Oh, look at the hook. It's a hook, and it opens. Ooh. Hook. 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 It's horrifically shitty. No, it's not. Look at that. All the kids are freaking out. Plus the ki- I hate that kid. Look, that's Wendy. My game! The stories are true. <laughs> yeah, right. Revenge. Only you can save your children. See, he's got to save his make kids. make yourself remember. Remember what? Peter, don't you know who you are? That would have been cool to see him. Have to fight. Have to crow. Have to save Maggie. Have to save Jack. How great is this? This is terrible. No. You guys didn't like this? I'd rather watch no. Garp twice. <laughs> I hate you. I live right in a row. Look at how great this is. What if? What if? Fuck Peter Pan grew, grew up. Yeah, Harry. Yeah. Guys, Julia Roberts is Tinkerbell. What? Hey, suck well, guys. my dick. This well, movie's yeah. great. She was great. Tinkerbell was great. Fuck you. You can't say Tinkerbell's great in the movie. The, stuff. His son, the little kid, looks Dustin like he, Hoffman. He look, the little kid, Robin Williams. Look at these killer oh. roads. Julia Roberts. This Bob Hoskins. Bob fucking Hoskins. Fucking worst movie ever. Worst movie ever. 
Yeah. The little kid, the little son, it looks like he was a burn victim, too. You shut your I don't fucking like that mouth. Kid. Look, they don't even show Hook in the perfect. Yeah, they show the his hook. eyebrows on. They just show the hook. All right, you know what? Let's just agree to disagree that you guys are fucking stupid. We didn't agree on that. We didn't even agree on that. We're agreeing on it now. Wow, you take it. It was made by Amblin Entertainment, which was a Steven Spielberg company. So let's just really. You know what I say to that? What? You know what? Just shut your stupid mouth. Now Very let's good. watch the trailer. The age I was watching Jaws too. Oh, cool! That's fun. Well, I knew good movies when I was a kid. Now yeah. let's watch I'm the trailer for Chris. You. Let's watch the movie for Christopher Robin, which is basically the same treatment. You like a party? Come on, babe. What should happen if you forget about me? Send me your bear. I won't ever forget about you, Pig. I'll come into your life and murder you, you little motherfucker. Forget about me, and I'll fuck your goddamn I'll fuck your goddamn life up. <laughs> it's my favorite thing on the planet Earth. It's your Winnie the Pooh. You're, you're fucking up to date, real world Winnie the Pooh when the cameras aren't rolling. Yeah. It's my favorite thing in the fucking world. Go back to that, though, so we can see that when he says that. He goes, if you forget about me, we'll have some big fucking problems now, won't we? Here it is. But if you forget about me. Send me old bear. I won't ever forget about me, Pooh. I promise. Not even when I'm a hundred. Oh, well, if you live to be a hundred, it means you died it well. I've seen your mother. You'll clock out by seventy. Heart disease runs in your family, Christopher Robin. <laughs> you come from a family of drunks. Why do you think you're talking to a bear? You had fetal alcohol syndrome. Your mom drank while you were in the womb. And that's why your bear talks to you. I'm, I'm not real. <laughs> he goes, I didn't know how to tell you this, Crystal Robin. <laughs> you were born without eyesight. You're, you're a fetal alcohol baby. You're in a coma. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're in an incubator right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> your hands, your hands look like chicken talons. <laughs> I can see the blood pumping through oh, your arms. Oh, you look like a little water balloon, like a little tiny red water balloon. You have no eyelids. <laughs> oh, I'm not a real bear. I would eat your ass. Do you think grizzlies are dangerous? Wait till you see a yellow bear. I don't. I give zero fucks. <laughs> <laughs> That's my sister's trailer. Should I take them away this weekend? All hands on deck. You won't be coming to the cottage. Well, it can't be helped. Your life is happening now, right in front of you. See? It's like hook. What to do, what to do, what to do. What to do indeed. Oh, hey, fuckface. Cool. Remember me? Oh, th oh, what was all that talk? I'll never forget about you. Then I'm in a park and you're looking at me like I'm some kind of fucking cunt. <laughs> Do you see Mark Wahlberg made a movie of me, that cunt? Oh, he goes, oh, yeah, no, like Ted wasn't a ripoff. <laughs> and neither was oh, that other one. Uh, what's uh, Teddy Ruxpin. Suck my dick. <laughs> Put a tape in you. You read a book. You're half a fag. I we all knew it. You were a gay bear <laughs> and you didn't want to admit it. At least I got sweet, sweet rabbit pussy. <laughs> Yeah, rabbit's a chick. Deal with it. She's a little butch, but I like I like masculine oh, energy. What about Tigger? Oh, that one. Well, let's just say I'm glad he's not bouncing around my house anymore. I heard he OD'd. You didn't think the author was a little racist for calling <laughs> Tigger Tigger? Yeah? Huh? Doesn't sound like locker room talk for guys trying not to be racist. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the tree I remember was in the countryside, not here in London. There's no opening. I suppose it's where it needs to be. That's a silly explanation. What's you know thinking? what, Christopher Robin, you're a real fucking cunt. I come back and you're just being a dick. Why are you here? Oh, yes, and I need your help. I've lost all of my friends. Let's get to the bottom of this. I mean, I'm absolutely seeing this on August 3rd. Here I come. Oh, oh. It would appear that I am stuck. Have you just eaten honey? I have not just eaten honey. I wonder which way. I always get to where I'm going by walking away from where I'm Are they been. from the Upside Down? This looks a lot like Stranger Things when they go to the Upside Down. That's the fucking worst <laughs> movie ever. What, the worst movie? Oh, Stranger Things. No, sorry. Did you think you were talking? We were talking about Cloverfield, the no, space movie? No, I thought you were talking about the movie with the big animals. The oh, big, Where the Wild Things Are. Where I fucked that movie. Fuck them for making it. Why? And fuck James Gandolfini's He's voice. He's dead. Wow, dead. His, that, his voice fucking scared the, the shit walk, out of me. You cocksucker. Yeah, well, yeah, but he was an angry fuck. fucking... I know he was. He was Tony uh, Soprano as a monster. Yeah, he was bipolar. Yeah, I hate you. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I remember that. 
Oh, God, but, sorry. I, I just snapped. I'm sorry. That's okay. I f- do you? That's the way I do it. Hello, you. Christopher Robin, it's you playing again. <laughs> It's him again. I'm suicidal. I've never been worth anything. Thank you, silly old bear. I was wrong about work. I was wrong about everything, and I've got to get back to my family. I mean, didn't they just give away the end of the movie? Trailers are just giving away the end of the movies now. Hook, you didn't know what was going to happen. The Hook trailer, you, you wonder if he's going to go save, and now you know Christopher Robin's got to go back to his family because he realizes it. Oh, this is what happens. They get brought into the real world. Bear my father's drawings. Oh, you must be the dumb little bitch he told me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, man. <laughs> Retardation really runs in the family, if you get what I mean. How do you not know? Oh, yeah, no, I'm the only. Is there another talking bear? Did he meg me? Is there another talking bear that Christopher Robin said he had to go hang out with? Oh, man, we're going to see this. We're going to see this as a family. We should all go see this. Let's go see this. Me, you, and Jacob, Lou, and Lou. And Jay and Christine. And Jay and Christine, Max and Dawn. Yeah. And you know who's not coming? Who? I'm taking I'm taking Gary Sarah and Theo to the premiere. Fuck them. I'll murder all of, I'll murder you. <laughs> in the parking lot. You go to the IPIX theater near me, yeah. I'll murder you. <laughs> you fucking dead. You're dead. If uh, I if I see let me tell you something, if I ever see you out with them, yeah. I will fucking flip out like we're lovers. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, can I tell you this? What? As lovers? Yeah. Thank you for guest hosting today. I love you, buddy. I love you so fucking much. Robert Kelly's going to be at the McCurdy Theater in Sarasota, Florida, June 8th through the 10th, then at the Vermont Comedy Club in Burlington, June 14th through the 16th. Tickets and other uh, tour dates, visit robertkelly.com. Again, if you're in Las Vegas, go see Big J tape his special tomorrow night. Go to tblus.com slash Netflix Vegas. Use the priority, use the code Bonfire for priority seating. And go to the Comedy Cellar Vegas. Go see Comedy Cellar. It's at the Rio. Go. It's the funniest show in Vegas right now and forever. Go to the Comedy Cellar Vegas at the Rio. San Francisco. I'll be back. Uh, That date that I had in January that got canceled. We're remaking it up in July. 19th through the 21st. Then I'm going to be at the Comedy Works in Denver. July 26th through the 28th. Go to dansoda.com. I'll have those up later today. And Billions. Season finale. This Sunday, 9 p.m. on Showtime. It ends like a motherfucker. This show is the best show on TV. I love that you love it's it. It's the best show on TV, bar none. I love that you love it. Go watch Billions this Sunday, 9 p.m. for the season three finale. It's going to leave you with a motherfucker of a cliffhanger for season ah, four. come on. It's going to be great, dude. Uh, we love you. Black Lou, White Lou, Jacob, I love you guys. Tomorrow, we got a hell of a show. You're coming back. Yes, I am. With the regulars. Yes, I am. Uh, YKWD's regulars taking over the bonfire tomorrow, 6 to 8. You we love you. Dude, dude, follow us at the Bonfire SXM on Twitter, Instagram, all that shit. Love you. Bye.